Uh, last week, you guys fought a uh, man bear pig. Um, or two weeks ago, maybe. Whatever it was. Two weeks. Um, time ago. Two weeks, yeah. Um, Mandrid's going to put a hand on... Um, oh, shit. He doesn't remember his friend's name. And he doesn't have the... Such a caring healer. <laughs> what screen are you guys on? We're on the battle know. screen. It's yeah. on the... F- mine's on full screen. Hold on. How do I exit full screen? Shit. F11? Cat, if you spill my fucking coffee, I'm going to kick you across the room. You have such a great relationship with that feeling. Um, he's going to walk over to Rain and ask Rain how he's feeling after being bit. It was not so much a bite as a uh, lovely goring in the uh, the midsection, and, and Rain will take his paw off like the very clear tusk wound in my stomach. Um, Men just going to try to remember, um, see if he knows anything about werebores and um, the transfer of the werebore disease. Okay, uh, give me either an Arcana or uh, that's gonna be Arcana. Arcana check. Uh, that's not gonna be a good roll. Hey, holy shit! All right. Uh, yep. So yeah, you would know that it being gored by a werewolf it gives the chance of uh being turned into a werewolf themselves. Uh, and let's see here. What is the required curable? Oh, now we're bored. In the meantime, he will, uh, Mandred will tell Rain, um, you know, because you were gored by the werebor, there's a chance that you may contract the disease. He'll communicate whatever he knows about that, what that would entail, whatever he knows about what that would entail. Okay. And, uh, anything that can remove a curse can uh, remove lycanthropy. So remove the remove curse spell or something like, I think, greater restoration or anything like that. Or I don't, I don't know if paladins lay on hands have the ability to remove curse or not. Um. So he'll he'll say, you know, I don't know how you feel about that. If that's something that you'd want to, um, you know, go along with, <clears throat> um, is that something that you, you know, some people might take that on lay, um, some crazy people, um, is that something that you would want take to take the chance with or not? Rain has had more than enough excitement in this jungle and has no reasons to uh, further complicate things. Uh, he thinks it is bad enough we already have Karen and her particular condition, so if there is a chance, Rain would much rather it be cured. Um, do I know how long it takes for it to set in? Uh, with that oh. role, yeah, it'll, it'll be... A- if it's not cured before the next full moon, it will. He will transition into a boar. Uh, and actually, go ahead and roll me a d twenty eight. We'll see how many days. How many? The number he rolls, how many days until the next full moon? Since we never actually established that. Me or him? Uh, you're the one that did the roll, so you you know what's going on. Um, just slash r d twenty eight. Oh God! Please roll high. No. So snap. in five days, he will turn into a werebore if it's not cured. Or turn into so a I- I looked up like paladin spells and I started pulling because they know that you said there's a chance we're going to level, right? So I started mm-hmm. pulling spells into my um, my spell sheet and I actually pulled remove curse into my spell sheet. And, and then I got really excited when you said remove curse, but then I realized it's actually a level three paladin spell. So uh, I don't have it and I'm not going to get it until... I you know for a, quite some time so I won't have it. <laughs> so all right, out of character. Uh, I should get it here in well, once we level five. Yeah. So 
Um, Time to pick fights with everything in the jungle, boys. <laughs> so then, um, Magid will say, uh, hopefully we come across someone in our travels. Um, maybe as we travel along, we can find somebody with the ability to remove the curse. Um, unless, you know, Karen or... Um, uh, Karen, um, Theron, or I can, can somehow, um, you know, figure out a way to remove it. Um, you know, at night. Uh, well, what time of day is it right now? Uh, I believe you guys were at the end of the day. All right. So, uh, you know, as we're going to bed, I'll try. Um, you know, even though as a player, I know it's fruitless. Like, I'll try using. Um, you know, lay on hands and uh, let's see. Yeah, I'll use like my lay on hands and my healing hands. Uh, let me see what other. Uh, I'll even use like a, a spell slot of cure wounds to cure the you know the wounds. Um, all that stuff. I'll do whatever I can. I'll ask Theron to give him some berries. You know, I'm sure we'll we'll all try whatever we can to heal him. Um, and I assume when that has, um, you know, no effect, um, or we don't know if it has an effect, um, you know, um, I'll say hopefully we can find somebody uh, along the way in our travels that might be able to cure this. Otherwise, we'll ke- we'll keep trying different things as we go along. Uh, elsewise, we might have a really exciting day at the end of the week. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we'll have a pet boar, or maybe we'll. Uh, sorry to say it, Rain. Um, you know, I've never eaten a cat, but I sure do love boar. Cat bacon. What was that? Cat bacon. Cat. <laughs> Cat bacon. Mander's wife is very disappointed in him. Um, <laughs> While this is going on, uh, they're just going to be staring at her, going to be watching the woods, uh, keeping an eye out for the wearboard to come back. Okay. Yeah, Colleen will join him in that. Just right. in- and uh, yeah. when everything is done, I'm just gonna I'm gonna look at uh, at Mandrid and say I'm kind of surprised. I figured you'd want to go after that werebore because now he's going to be now he's going to come back. Didn't I try to run after the werebore? We you did. were going to, but then you stopped. We did. I. Uh, I or out of character, I shaped it, change into a uh, a war horse, and we chased after it for a while, and we gave up after a short chase. And Theron is kind of surprised because usually you're pretty bloodthirsty. I don't remember what happened. I remember you talking about it after, but I really don't remember why I stopped. Damage I think it was the and stuff. Yeah, yeah. It was, he, was, he, had, he had a bit of a head start towards the end of the session, so we just got, I just, I think we did a, a small roll off, and you guys were like, you were already pretty far behind. Oh, uh, okay. Um, Manjit will say something about, um, you know, uh, oh, my baby is crying for me. Um, you know, as as much as I enjoy a good hunt, um, in situations like this, especially when um, one of our party is injured, it's um, it's it's never a good idea to to split the party um, or split the company um, and and chase the enemy um, into the into uh, out of the battlefield um, and, and invite um, other forces. To, to pick off our week. I don't know what you're talking about. I never would have had new people attack the split party. Who would do this? <laughs> I would like to roll a sense motive check. <laughs> sure, go ahead. Roll an insight check on the DM. 
I must warn you, I'm a barbarian. I got great insight. Yeah, you fail. Um, <laughs> I was close, though, right? No. DC 50. All right. Anything else you guys want to do? Uh, Corey, is there anything Kayleen would wish to do? Uh, like, go ahead and run me a perception check. You and uh, yeah. uh, Theron, give me a perception check since you said you were looking to see if anybody was coming. Bloop. Okay. All right. So you both are keeping a pretty watchful lookout. You're familiar with the trees and the forest. And, uh, Kayleen, you're used to sneaking around, so you know how to look for people that are sneaking around, and you guys don't see anybody coming. Looks like It looks like he fucked off good. Alright, cool. Okay, well, as we go to bed, I'm going to, uh, I guess, take my normal watch, because at this time I'm going to be sitting in one of the trees. And, uh, we have all this nice uh, bear meat, or boar meat here. I think I'll try and, uh, Save some of it and use those rations. Okay. Yeah, you can you can definitely cut some like bacon and it won't be cured, it won't last forever, but it'll be you can cook cut into steaks, that'll be good for a couple of days. Okay. All right. Uh so you guys were on the river and you were you'd cross the river. Uh can I I'll, I'll wait until we level if we level because I just found a spell in the in the wiki and it I can't believe it's an actual spell. That's in one of these books. Like, never mind. I'll wait. Okay. Um, well, now I'm just curious. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'll wait. All right. So, you guys uh, wake up in the morning. I already rolled as no encounters in the evening. And you head southward. Why don't you all give me survival checks? Yay. What about the Ooh. I always love how the Outlander bar Barbarian is the one who's the worst at survival. I'm not an um, Outlander. I'm a far oh, traveler. Oh, yes, that's quite different. Um, you've traveled far and wide, and somehow you just keep bumbling into surviving. It's... Hot pan of dice, baby. All right, uh, Theron. Through the woods, you see almost like like a local. Like it was always in the morning, like fog and low clouds before the rain and washes everything away. Um, but you see what looks like a plume of like thick smoke. But it, and it, some a lot of you see the smoke. What looks like smoke. What you actually see is you can tell it's steam from the like it's coming from ahead in the river about a couple hundred feet from you. It's like a big plume. Of white steam. That doesn't seem right. And I'm going to point uh, at the uh, steam coming off of the river, wherever it's coming from. Okay. Didn't the guys at uh, Camp Vengeance have stories about the uh, weird fog or something? I think you're right. But that looks more like steam to me. Or. Could it be that fog? Uh, is there a roll that I would need to make to see if it is that fog? Uh, if you don't remember, you can give me a Arcana check. Well, I remember it was. I'll it aid. was a. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, Tyler, go ahead. Get what are you saying? Uh, um, now, uh, now that we said it, I remember that. Remember about some kind of fog. I just don't. I know it was monkey fever or something like that, but I don't remember what exactly it looked like. Okay, Pat, what were you going to say? Uh, I was just going to say, if he's going to roll Arcana, I'll aid. <clears throat> okay, so you have an advantage there, but the 15 was good. Uh, yeah, you remember that it was a blue fog that was dangerous. Okay. It's called Blue Monkey Fever. Um, after, while my ship, or while the airship was passing over, I saw the, the waterfall leading into the city. Uh, did I notice steam at all from the river? That's a good question. What was that survival check you just made? Uh, with that, yeah, with that survival check, once you just point out that it was steam, you do recall that there was a a plume of steam coming up out of it. Was like it seemed like pour into a basin, and the basin seemed to have steam coming out of it. Okay. Uh, all right. So Colleen will speak up and like you, just say, oh, "Go ahead." I'm sorry. I was going to say, like, it's like when you're flying over, you kind of thought it was just fog or a cloud, but you realize it might have been steam. 
coming. Okay. Well. All right. Uh, well, Colleen will speak up then and just and just say, uh, yeah. So uh, we're probably really close because I remember some kind of smoke uh, rising up from the river, and um, and it was it was at the bottom of the waterfall. So I'm pretty sure we're pretty close. Do you remember if there is a place to climb up near the waterfall, or do we need to go away from the river? Uh, well, I mean, I, I was we were pretty high up, so I didn't really, you know, see all that. Uh, <clears throat> but you know, it could be. I mean, you're, you're a tabaxi, right? Don't taba aren't tabaxi's good climbers? It was not me. I was worried about. Well, I mean, you know, I've got some rope and stuff like that. I mean, if we need to, we can always make a climbing uh, I can, apparatus. I can fly. Oh, see? Well, there you go. See, he can fly. I can climb. You can climb. I'm sure we can make it. We'll be fine. Karen chuckles when you say that. Nobody cares. Oh, yeah, that's right. Karen's not good at anything. No. <laughs> No, she chuckles that the everything will be fine because she doesn't believe you. Oh, all right. <clears throat> all right. So you guys, you guys continue onward down the river. Yes, That's, please. Yes. Uh, if we move further away, doesn't isn't isn't that the case? Because like me and Colleen both are like kind of in the dark about like exactly what's happening with Karen. So like, is it that if we move further away, she gets like hurt in some kind of way? I think it's willful disregarding of heading to the city. So I don't think if we like walk 15 feet to find a staircase that her head's going to explode. It's once she decides, oh, well, we're not going to the city anymore. But Oh, uh, okay. All I, right. I hit stuff with a stick and I don't even do that great. So don't ask me. I shoot stuff with a bow. That's good. <clears throat> we are. I, I pick things up and I uh, put them down. <laughs> We aren't exactly sure what goes on with Karen. Just We're that we just have to it. make it to the city, and she has yeah. to willfully want to go there. Okay, I get it. But yeah, so to the city. All right. Walk down You're, the river. Walk down the river. Uh, so you guys walk it's only a few hundred feet through the forest. Uh, as you approach, actually, let's do one quick check just to make sure. Nope, actually, we do have a great camera encounter. Let's see if anything interesting happens. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Lady. <clears throat> Let's see here. Uh, We're gonna oh, be fine. Man, my guys. wife <clears throat> my wife is gonna send this kid down here. Wife aggro. Yeah, seriously. Baby this kid aggro. Is not, this kid is not going to have a good time. She keeps it up. All right. So you guys come to a break in the uh, forest. Uh, as, for, as the waterfall uh, spreads... Uh, so as the river falls over the cliff, you hear a mighty roar come from below. I'm just going to turn off the dynamic lighting on here because there's, no, there's no dynamic lighting. Good. You guys can see this, right? Yes. Okay. So you are there. Let me do that again on the right layer. There. Okay. Oh, okay. we're at the top of the waterfall. Top of the waterfall. Uh, uh, below you, through a thick mist of steam, you see the ruins of a great city. Actually, let me find the text oh, that's box. Cool. I forgot we swapped rivers. I thought we were heading upstream. Nope, you're heading downstream. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> it all makes so much sense it, now. Yeah, we because we looked at the river on the uh, the main map or whatever too. Yeah, and we were we were always heading south, so. The jungle parts to reveal a dead city enclosed by sheer cliffs. Ruined buildings and stone boulevards rise like ghosts from the floor of the misty basin. Colorful birds glide overhead. 
A waterfall pours into the basin, creating a swollen river that floods much of the city before draining into a deep rift filled with molten lava. A ruined palace lies a few hundred feet from the edge of the steaming abyss. <clears throat> I'm going to ask, uh, what is, <clears throat> what's his name? Mushireen? Is his Mushireen? name? Mushireen. Uh, Mushireen. Yeah. Um, have you ever been here? He shakes his head, his eyes kind of wonder, uh, open and wonders, like, this definitely appears to be the, the great lost city of Omu. Um, and what, what can you tell us about this place? Uh, he says there was, it was a great city of men. Uh, it was, it was abandoned by, uh, their God before he abandoned the rest of the peninsula. Um, and they supposedly they had a, they started worshiping some, uh, trickster deities, some fake gods, uh, before they fell into ruin a few hundred years ago. Do you, do you know God? Hmm? Do you know which gods? Uh, he tells you a story that you guys have heard before about the different animals that were uh, trying to make Uptau, uh, uh to save the city from Uptau. Do any of you recall that little fairy tale I told you? I remember several a, sessions ago. a couple of uh, different... The crocodile. I was not there, I don't think. You were not there. You, you, have, you have an excuse. With the crocodile? That uh, not, not that one. I don't remember that one either. I remember the crocodile one, but okay. Well, maybe maybe I have not told this to you yet. I I no, yeah. I'm pretty sure I did. I did. I know I did, but I will tell it to you again because he will tell you it to you. Yes, let me lower my TV because I'm sure it's bothering you guys. Sorry. Only on an emotional level. <laughs> not a fan of uh, TNG. I haven't seen it actually. You've never seen The Next Generation? I'm actually working my way through all of the original series of Star Trek right now because I've never watched Star Trek until earlier this year. I've never seen... I've seen episodes, but I've never seen all the uh, original. Okay. You guys ready? Ready. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. So, he tells you the ancient legend which for some reason he knows we have human because I, but I've only, I'm telling you because I've told you guys before. So your characters know this, even though the players are sad, pathetic creatures that don't remember. Um, hey, long I've ago, played D&D hmm? twice in like the last two months. Come on now. Long ago, the god Uptau hardened his heart and vowed to weep for the people of Omu no longer. The rain stopped, the jungle withered and died, and death swept through Omu. One morning, a wise Zorbo emerged from her hollow tree and spoke to the dying, Omnu the dying Omnuans. To convince Uptau of their worth, she decided to cook him a stew made from all their good qualities. Catching some such virtues wouldn't be easy, uh, so she asked a wily Almirage to help her. The Almirage snuck recklessly in recklessness into the pot, which she saw as a virtue, and Uptau spat out the stew when he tasted it. From that day on, the Zorbo and the Almirage became terrible enemies. Uh, the Almirage, by the way, let's see, let me, let me Google these creatures for you so you can get Because a lot of them are doing this. I, I, I know I planned on a couple times giving this. But I'm not wondering if I did or not. Yeah, I don't remember this. Okay. I might have, I might have accidentally, it might, we might have like gotten busy at the night I was going to do it, and then I never did it again. Yeah, I don't remember this. Okay. That's my mistake then. I apologize. Should have held on to it until that later in the session. That's fine. Copy. So this is a Zorbo. Whoa. The poop bear. Yep. I know what an Almirage is. Or an Almirage. Yeah. And this is an Almirage. Um, at noon, a brave Commodon hopped down from her rock. She saw the evil in the Omnuans' hearts and decided to lance it like a troublesome boil. The Camadon fashioned a holy spear, but she left it by the riverbank, and a crafty grung stole it. In her rage, the Camadon forgot all about the Omnuans and chased the grung forever across the sky. You guys know what a grung is? No. Uh, frog person? Little frog person, yep. Oh, okay, yep. 
uh, the Commodon is this beastie. So the one with the pointy, the the pointed head is the one that was chased. Yes, the Almirage was uh, snuck recklessness into the pot, and the Zorbo uh, got angry because Ubdel spat out the stew, so he chased the Almirage. So Evil Monkey hates Unicorn Rabbit. Uh, Snake Kitty <clears throat> hates Frog Person. Okay. Okay. When evening came. A wily Iblis, which most of you know, an Iblis is like an evil stork, uh, stepped from his reed hut. He did not like the Omnuans, but without them, he'd have no one to play his tricks on. The Iblis sent a marsh frog to reason with Uptau, but the frog was angry and decided to wrestle the god instead. This amused Uptau, so he gave the frog tentacles to make it stronger. When the frog Hemoth returned to the Iblis, he chased the Iblis into the swamp with his new tentacles. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Frog Hemoth is my favorite monster in this game. Uh, that yeah. night, <laughs> a Sioux monster broke into Uptau's palace and stole a pail of water for the Omnuans. When the god came running to find it, the Sioux monster hid the pail in the Jakuli's burrow. Uh, Uptau asked the jungle animals where his water was hidden, and the Jakuli was too honest to lie. When the Sioux monster found out how Moa had betrayed him, he vowed to catch the Jakuli and eat him up. So a... For those of you who didn't know that the frog emits is Ken's favorite monster, you might also know that the, not know that the last time he put one in the game, I waited until it swallowed somebody and then banished it to another realm of existence. Yeah, I missed that session. I was really sad. <laughs> so the ranger rogue spent several turns inside of a frog hemoth on another plane of existence, slowly getting crushed to death before we brought him back. <laughs> that is not what I thought a sea monster would look like. <clears throat> to be fair, the rogue deserved it because he was Verbrar was the whole reason that the party died originally. <laughs> uh, so those that's the Jakuli. And then all the while, Unk the flail snail lived deep under the earth. The noise of the other animals fighting made her slither up to the surface. And when day dawned over her shell, the light blinded Uptown and made his eyes water. Life returned to Omu, and the people built shrines to honor the animals who had saved them. A flail snail is exactly what it sounds like. It's a giant fucking snail with flails like that it beats people with. And it was also a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling that some of these animals is going to be important. I don't know why you would think that. Because I've played D&D &D before. Oh, I remember why I didn't get to give that information. I was planning on giving it to you when you went to uh, one place, and then you chose to go to a different place, and I, didn't, I forgot to work it back in again. That's why I didn't, you didn't hear that. Anyways. Do we see so. any signs of life <clears throat> down in the city? Any smoke? Any, like, I know the art is just art, but like I, I see fires and stuff like that. Uh, you can give me a perception check if you like. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to ask <clears throat> our guide if he has ever seen any of these animals. Uh, he says, "Oh yeah, they're not, they're I mean they're they're not common like where people are, but they're on, they're in the jungle." Um, I mean, I've never seen a frog hemoth personally. Uh, yeah. they, tend to, they tend to eat anybody who finds them. Nah. Um, but the uh, I've seen the rest of them. Okay. Uh, he reminds you of the shit, the the creatures that were throwing shit at you, and that's the uh, Zorbo. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. uh, he does warn you that uh, they do have a tendency to destroy uh, metal, so you might want to watch out with them. Destroy it? How? Uh, it just kind of rusts away in your in their hands. Oh, real? He heals. Wait, which which oh. enemy is that? Uh, that is the uh, the Zorbo. Any type of metal, even magical metal? Uh, he's not experienced with magical metal. He does not know the answer to that. While this is going on, Kaleem's going to go up to Karen 
and be like, so uh, anything happening with your uh, weird condition? You know, tummy aches, headaches, anything like that? Tummy rubbing Uh She glances up from her book momentarily, shakes her head, uh, and yawns, and then goes back to her book. Okay. <clears throat> Manager's uh, going to lean in. Oops, sorry, go ahead. No, 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 go ahead, go ahead. Manager's going to lean in and, and whisper in her ear, but loud enough for... Um, uh, What's what's your character's name again? I'm sorry. Kayleen. Kayleen. For for Kayleen to hear as well. Um, you know, maybe you should start paying a little bit more uh interest in um everything that's going on, considering the only reason we're here is to save your life. We could easily uh head back and continue on with our for the uh, you know the task at hand, and leave you, and leave you to your own devices. She shrugs and says, "I mean, our original intention was to come here and find uh, that black obelisk. So, I mean, really, I led you guys where you needed to go." Is that how you see it? Yeah. And besides, she's like, "I'm paying attention. Uh, don't you guys see that? Uh, I'm the only one that's seen that uh, statue hidden in the vines over there on the edge of the cliff." I um, was just about to start looking for stuff, too. <laughs> and uh, maybe you should have pointed that out. I just did. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you for being useful for once. And uh, I guess we'll go look, take, a, take a look at that statue then. Okay. What were you going to say, Hunter? Uh, Rain. I was going to make a sarcastic comment as Rain to Theron and just say, can Rain push Karen off of the waterfall? But I should behave and not kill Matt's character when he's not here. That would be rude. All right, so you go investigate the gargoyle, a vine-draped gargoyle perches on the clifftop, staring down at the ruined city. Can it I? Has the, sorry. Can, can I just say something for a second? You know, <clears throat> you know what? I, I I think that if Matt came back next week and we told him. Hey, you know, she put up a really good fight, but the whole rest of the party, like, PK'd your character. I think he wouldn't even be mad. I think he'd be like, yep, that sounds about right. Like, your character pissed everybody else off, and and we fought her and killed her. He'd just be like, yep, that sounds about right. As long as 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 I did something in character. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think I think he wouldn't even be mad. I think he, he would completely be like, "All right, I'll roll a new character. Sounds good." We kind of owe him one at this point. Yeah. So one, sorry to interrupt you there, Ken. One Matt like, character death. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the whole reason we're we're uh, coming to this place is because his character and he hasn't been here for like two months. <laughs> Can I read the description now? Yeah, sorry, Ken. I'm sorry. A vine-draped gargoyle perches on the clifftop, staring down at the ruined city. It has the face of a devil, with his mouth agape in a silent scream. Certainly a strange uh, statue to put here. Don't trust it, don't trust it, don't trust it. Well, it's not one of the puzzle statues, like in the jungle. Perhaps it uh, watches over the city. And by the way, this gar- the gargoyle you see has four arms. I'm having Tomb of Horror flashbacks. What's the Tomb of Horror? Nothing. Okay. Um, is there, <clears throat> are there any, um, uh, what are they called? Are there any... Things that you put things on. <laughs> pedestals, you mean? Yeah, those things. No, it's not on a pedestal. It's just sitting right in the dirt. Uh, it looks to be kind of. It looks like everything's built up and grown around it. Uh, like its legs are deep in the mud, uh, but it does not appear to be a pedestal. Uh no. I'm sorry. Are there any um, like flat surfaces for something to go on? I don't. Not I particularly. There's no. There's nowhere to put like an offering or. Anything. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Are the gargoyles' I mean, hands open or closed? Uh, they are open, but kind of like in a terrifying rar sort of thing. I just did a rar motion with my hands, even though you guys can't see me. I um, appreciate the effort uh, yeah. you put in there. I also think we kind of got what you mean. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna go R. Mandrin's gonna go R. Okay, it doesn't. Darren, Darren's gonna get, look at you strangely and go back to just watching. Mm, let me see. Are there any like? Particular, particularly like strange markings on it. Besides the fact that it's a forearm gargoyle, uh, you can give me a perception check if you like. Sure, or, or, or investigation that. is your choice. Oh, hold on. Uh yeah, I'll use perception. Okay. Ah no. Okay. I'll investigate. Uh, okay. Uh, now that you know what you're looking for, you don't see anything on the gargoyle itself. You do see another gargoyle about a hundred feet away down the cliff. Oh, hmm, that's interesting. Are they facing each other? Nope, they're facing down into the city. Are they facing in the exact same direction? Well, I mean, all as much as you know, it's the the from what you can tell, they look like they're facing the same direction. You suspect that if you walk to the other side of the cliff, you would be looking back at these ones because they were looking into the city, and you don't see anything. Okay, so the other gargoyle that we see is is down the cliff or across the river on no, the top of the cliff. It's on the cliff. It's on the cliff, same size cliff as you are. It's just a hundred feet down. You know, it's on the edge, looking over the city, a hundred oh, feet in this direction. Okay, all right. Yeah, looking this direction, on the edge of the cliff. If if I look this way, do I see another one? Anywhere? Uh, give me perception check. Sure. God damn it. Uh, it's a little further away because of the river and the there's a lot more underbrush. You're not sure. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. All right. Fucking. Hmm. So we can kind of assume that these might litter across the thing, but maybe not everywhere. All right. Um, screw it. Colleen's going to start messing around with this gargoyle and like pull it on its arms and stuff to see if anything happens. Like a freaking weirdo. Okay. Uh, so you're just like climbing out and pulling out and poking at it? Yeah, just like poking at it, seeing if anything, like seeing if one of its arms moves in any kind of way or its fucking okay. tail or wings or whatever. Yeah, you can you can mess with it all you want uh, with, you know, just pulling on and trying to find a secret. There's no secret compartments. There's no, uh, you know, don't, you don't trigger any traps or anything. <clears throat> For some reason, I imagine this gargoyle wearing glasses and a black Kangol hat. Is that weird? Possibly. That is very weird. Yeah, I don't know why. Rain wonders if they might have been like spiritual protectors in some sort of superstitious manner. Simply statues, but here for a reason to, you know, watch over the city, protect it. Uh, yeah, that could be the case. Always heard that humans tend to like just decorations. Maybe it could be just a decoration. How far down is the cliff? Like, do I think if we were down in the city and looking up, we would see the gargoyles? Well, the cliff is a thousand feet. Oh, no, not even close. It's 100 to 150 feet. So we'll say 100. We'll say 120 feet tall. Is the gargoyle close enough to the cliff that you would see it from down in the city, or? Um, I mean, they're covered with vines and whatnot. If you knew what you were looking for, you'd probably see them. Um, I just meant like when they were new, I guess. When they were installed, people in the city could theoretically look up and see them. They're not back yeah. off the cliff to a point. No, of... yeah, they're they're right. They're right on the edge of the cliff. Well, I mean, if nothing else, we can use them as an anchor to, you know, tie some rope and climb down. Unless you guys want to take the long way around and just, you know, look for, like, uh, some stairs or something. Uh, with that 13, Kayleen, as you're looking across, I will say that you do think that there is a, like, if the ground slopes 
to the other end. So you think there may be an easier way in at the other side. How far down is it again? I apologize. It's on this on this edge of the cliff. You're closer to the 150 than 100. Okay, and then um, with Kayleen's glance, uh, how far does she think it is on the other side? I mean, it's just moving. It's the whole basin moves in like slopes in this direction, so you're not sure exactly how far. Uh, you know, it's about 2,000 feet across, so like half a mile. Rain thinks that we should head one way or the other anyway, so that we are not climbing down into the river itself. Okay, well, uh, let's head south. It looks like the whole place is sloping a little bit, and it'll be easier to get in from the southern part of the city. What, over there by the large uh, circular whatever that is? Oh, uh, well, I mean, we'd have to go around that, but there, there's... It's it, it just it just looks like it's easier to cross over there. I meant the climbing down part. Where would you like to descend? Oh well, well maybe if we go further south, we'll see something uh, a little bit better. From here, I can't really see everything. This is a pretty big city. Okie dokie. I'm gonna Continuing my water. South, real quick. I guess. Sorry, was that honey? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to refill my water, but I will be right back super quick. Okay. Yeah, you guys I'm going to stealth. You going to stealth? All right, give me a stealth check. Oh, damn it, no. The rolls right. have failed me. I, I stepped away for a quick second. Um, what, what? What's the plan? Where are we headed? You're gonna walk, their plan is currently to walk south along the cliffs to see if you can find an easier way down into the city. That way we're not climbing down direct. Because where we're at right now, we would climb directly down into the river and all these flooded buildings and shit, and that's probably not a good idea. <coughs> so all southward right. this way we're going. All right. Wait, which way? Can you point on the map again? Yeah, we're going we're we're like right about right around here and we're going this way along the cliff. I can't see where you're pointing on the map, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, you can't see the pink arrow right, oh, right no. here. I saw okay. the yeah. I saw the green. Gotcha, blue. And now I see the pink. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So we're yeah. So we're heading down this way like this. We're going. Yes. So that's yeah. yellow. I should change it to something. Yellow's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Blue, yellow's so easy to see with the green background. All right, so you guys continue onward through the... Actually, I have to change my macros out real quick. One second. I can't believe I got such a crappy still. I'm expertise, damn it. I can't wait till I get reliable talent. I can't wait till I get an extra attack next next time, next turn. I'm going to be smashing motherfuckers. Yeah, paladins are pretty nasty with their extra attack. Yeah, I think I'm going to pick up a magical weapon, too, until I get something, like, get an, another weapon. It gives me a, a plus one. I think it lasts for eight hours. Plus one to damage and um, to attack. Um, and, it's a, and it's a magical weapon. Could be useful. Yeah. And I already have plus two to damage with dueling. And uh, I think that's going to be uh, very useful. All right, well, Ken's setting this up. I'm going to uh, go grab a drink really, really fast, and I will be right back. Okay. Everybody, well, why don't everybody go grab a drink if they need to so we can... Okay. Can we, what you I'm sure, I get hmm? back and everyone goes and gets drinks. Where is I still here? Can we just take five? Well, I, I'll bring my computer with me. I'm gonna go have a smoke, but I'll bring my computer with me. I can go outside. Okay. No big. Deal. Wasn't everybody still ready? To, still ready to go then? Uh, as you guys are going through the, uh, excuse me, going through the forge, you're hacking your way through along the cliff.
Can you hear me? Are you mm -hmm. still talking? Yep. I paused for a moment. Oh, okay. Sorry. Uh, why don't I do something real quick to see? First, turn off. I may turn on the GM rolls because it's not auto set, even though I tell it to be. Oh, we about to fight, ain't we? You don't know that. Yes, you are. <laughs> um, all right. Okay, I'm back. All right. Uh, there is a noise about, as you're chopping through the forest. Uh, you hear something crushing sticks to each side. Uh, and we will need to... Ogres. Are they ogres? You'll see a moment, won't you? Why don't you put yourselves in your walking order? Oh no, it's Marlboros from fucking Final Fantasy. <laughs> God. Not quite that nasty. Still nasty. Yeah, still pretty bad. All right. Uh, uh Colleen's always kind of in the back with her. What? Um. <clears throat> which which way are we heading? Like, which way is is we're down heading, or we're heading south? We're heading this way. Okay. And they're on either side of us. <clears throat> yes, they're coming out of the underbrush. And. They're coming directly from our east and west. Are we a little bit behind them, or uh, you, uh, you guys? I'll say that they are a bit ahead of you because you guys and they rolled really shit on their stealth, so all of your passive perceptions would have caught them. So okay. you can hear them, you can hear them kind of coming your way. All right, so definitely, um, Rain and I would be in the front. Mishareeb would be probably very close to us. Uh, no, I definitely would. Us. I don't think I would be in the front. Colleen's she's usually stealthy, like keep an eye on the back kind of person. Yeah, she's not a good frontliner. I I didn't mention you at all. I don't know why. You oh, I thought you said Colleen. Sorry. No, nah, Musharib would be very right, very close to us in oh, the front, okay. or or he would be in the back. <clears throat> well, he's Thanks, supposed man. to be our guide, so I figured he'd be up near the front. Yeah, either in the front or bringing up the rear, because he likes watching you ladies walk. He's a dwarf. He doesn't give a shit about human, female, human or elf. Female. Sorry, elf he female. could, he could have, a, he could have a fetish. You don't. Know. It could be a weird. Don't dwarf. kink shame Musharib. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, roll initiative. Yes, sir. Mandard and Kayleen have disadvantage because they annoy me. <laughs> It wasn't me to win that trophy tonight. Hey, you're oh, gonna give me dis you're gonna give me disadvantage after BH has never been given disadvantage for all the puns. He's been good this session, but just wait. It's because we haven't found anything interesting yet. As soon as we do, he's gonna <laughs> not shut up about it. Do you know how many board puns I resisted earlier? <laughs> you still used a lot. I'm talking about this session when, uh, when <laughs> Mr. Healer Man was talking about me. Oh my uh, who, who has control of Karen? I think that's Hunter who does. Uh, uh, no. Yeah, I think so. The last session. Nope. Wait, no. It was either him or... Not me. Not you? It was Mandred. Okay. Uh, okay. Nine. I rolled twice and it's still my first. No, I was joking about the disadvantage, Mandred. Oh. Um, Still my first roll. But then give me the 14. I will. <laughs> um, but I still have to figure out who has Karen. Who's I think it's Mandrid. But I'll, I think it's Mandrid. I'll take Mandrid. it if I need to. Mandrid, can you still run Karen today? You want me to? Oh, you want me to do Karen today? Well, you yep, have control sure. of it currently, so if you still have control of it. Yeah, sure. Okay, so if you roll her into initiative. You got it. All right, and we are <clears throat> rolling through. Kayleen, you are first to act. Oh boy, um, R is okay. Um, did they notice me with my stealth roll? Because it was really shit. Uh, it was it was 11. 11? No. 
they did not. Oh my god, that means that there's. Well, no, they're not surprised by the party, though, are they? So I guess that doesn't count. Oh well. You do have an advantage because you're hidden. Right, right, right. That's fine. Uh, I'm shooting this one, the one on the right down there. Okay. Sorry, my neighbors are having a party, apparently. All right. Sneak attack. Oh, wait. I got to roll twice. Yep. Roll there twice. we go. All right. So, I forgot advantage, so I was like, oh, I didn't really crit, but yeah. 8, 12, 19 damage. Quite nice. And uh, gonna find some, some brush and bonus action hide again. All right. Give it to me. Oh, yeah. That's better. Okay. Yep. All right. Now. Jesus. What the fuck was that? By that's, firework. That's New York people. This, that's grown men who still play with fireworks like their children. Uh, I heard a couple in my neighborhood, too. It's just, this the South, man. People fucking, they got big yards and they'll blow them off in their backyard and this shit. Is, and everybody in the town can hear them. This is in the middle of the street in a suburban or you know, yeah, uh, I live in not even suburban. This isn't suburban. This is like a concrete jungle. Oh. I can lie. I thought that was gone. <laughs> yeah, I did too. I live in suburbia, and people have been shooting off fireworks for like the last two months, but only like one at a time. Like they'll run run over to the park real quick and fire a single firework off, and it's like hooray. No, they do this. They do this right in the street. They don't even bother with the park. Tomorrow in my neighborhood, it's going to be bad. All right. So this one had to. They both had to move about twenty-five feet, which is a dash for them. So they're shambling upwards, uh, but they are not able to attack this round. Mushari, well, that's not. Did I miss the actual description of what these things are? I'm trying to look at the picture. I see multiple. Uh, they look mouths. like just. They look like just a mass of plants and vines and writhing nastiness. I think they're right. cute. Does Mushrib have any idea what these things are? Uh, have him give me a nature or arcana check. Uh, he... Mm, let's see what these things are. Let's look at a plant. So yes, this is a shambling mound. Uh, All right. So he knows that it is resistant to cold and fire. It is immune to lightning. Uh, so elemental damage is not good against it. Uh, he's got to, but he, he'll also tell you it's going to try and eat you. Okay, Mushroom's sure going to yell all that stuff out and run up to help manager and rain and skull bash, or he's going to cast Hunter's Mark on this guy and skull bash him. Okay. Nope. All right, missed. Bounces off a branch. Rain, what were you going to say? It's your turn. I was going to say, this is not even the first fucking plant that's tried to eat me this week in game, let alone in this campaign. That is true. You were getting, <laughs> you were getting, you were getting quite sick of these motherfucking plants in this motherfucking jungle. Uh, I will rage and hit it. Okay. Well, addendum, I will swing at it. Okay, that is a hit. Plus two. Plus two. Did I not give you the macro so you can add in the plus two thing? No? I'm not always raging. I have the macro. I've just been really lazy. I got you. Because you put the macro in there, you can select whether or not you're raging, and it'll add the damage in for you. Yeah, I do the same thing for sneak attack and smite on my rogues and paladins. I've just been really busy with homework lately and haven't even been on roll 20 unless we were playing. Gotcha. All right. So, Mandred. <clears throat> All right. Um, this guy, he ran up to me, but he didn't do anything, right? Right, because it was you were, he was about 30 feet away, so he only moves 20 feet a turn. All right. I am... Um, he, but I can't... If I move, he's going to get attack of opportunity? Correct. He's up in your face. He's in your grill, as they say. Uh, but he Yo, is... He has not attacked get to, get to step in, son. I'm going to swing my long sword at his foch. There's a 24 hit. 24 does hit. All right. I'm also going to... Oh, wait. I wanted to do something else. Uh, oh, sorry. There's a bonus action. I forgot to do that. 
Um, no, there's no point in doing it now. Let me see. No, there's no point in doing it now because I already. Um, also, going to divine smite him. Right. He's not undead or fiend, right? So he's it a is, six. It is not undead or fiend. All right, so that's a total of 22. All right. Uh, uh, it, ri it writhes at you. I'm testing my thing. Don't judge. I don't know what that means. He's testing his macro. Um, so, Mandra, what were you saying? Uh, and I'm just seeing something. Oh, I could have done something. Was it a bonus action? Can I do it now and have it take effect before? This time, yes. In the future, please remember order of operations. All right, I'm sorry. Uh, Hunter's Mark. Okay, so I'll do an extra D6 damage. Sorry. I'm, I'm very distracted. I have neighbors I'm, on either side of me. I, having, I understand. I'm outside. Sorry. Just wasted two good Walk. attacks testing that shit. All right. Whopping D6 up in his ass. Yep. Theron. All right. Theron does not know that these things are resistant to fire. So he is going to do the first thing that comes to mind when he sees a giant plant coming towards us and cast Flaming Sphere. All right. Right there. Right there. One second. You should do some sort of arcana roll before you do stupid shit like that. Well, I also don't have any other offensive spells. I mean, no. they're only they're only resistant. It's not it's not like they won't take damage. No, uh, yeah, that's true. All right, he rolled a zero on his deck save because it's a minus one to his dexterity, so it's going to still take three. That's not zero. All right, and then Karen's turn. Okay. Uh, let me just find it. Oh shit! I only have one spell slot left because I'm a fucking idiot. Anyway, um, Karen is going to cast this. Okay. They're now chanting Jerry. Do you hear that? Yep. She, I'm going back inside. Um, she's casting Bane on both of them. They have to make a charisma saving throw against her. It doesn't matter. They rolled a six and a minus two. So okay. they failed that. So they both yes. have minus minus D4 to their attacks. And so and spell saves. And no, what is it? Uh saving throws, rather. Yep. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty useful. Uh, Kayleen. Oh, boy. It's my turn. I'm going to shoot this one again because he's fuzzy and I like him. The plants aren't fuzzy. No, he's totally fuzzy. Don't, 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 you know. And stealth again. Yes, you are stealth again. I know. <laughs> All right. Uh, so because you are, like, there's an alternate universe where you didn't roll goods on your stealth and you botched that shot and shot... Uh, Mushroom even the back, but instead you shoot the He <laughs> <laughs> he. Gotta love the assassin rogue. All right. Oh crap. And don't that's a good. That's fine for stealth. You're good. No no no. I meant oh crap because it's their turn and they finally oh. get to attack. They do get to attack. Now they have a minus d4 on each of these. I had to roll that for a moment. But first one, uh, rain one or two. Two. All right, going for Mushri. No, it's, it's bad. Mushri's always getting the shit into the stick. Yeah, okay. we don't want them to kill Mushri, though. Rain, right. rain uh, can at least... It has disadvantage on attacks against things that are not me, by the way. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, the first attack that was definitely going to hit does not hit. The second attack still might. Uh, if it rolls a 1 on the d4 here, it hits. If it rolls a 2, 3, or 4, it does not hit. 
It hits. All right, so Mushroom takes 12 damage. Mushroom has resistance to that damage. No, does he really? Yep. Okay. What kind of damage is it? Uh, Very nice. What kind of uh, damage is it? I'm looking. I think it's bludgeoning. Yes, bludgeoning damage. Oh, all right. Sorry. That's no, all right. I just you gotta give me a second to answer the question. Oh, I didn't. I, I thought you didn't hear me. I'm sorry. I just want to know because I have ham, son. You got ham. Oh yeah, right, yeah. I was con I thought there was actual lunch meat involved. <laughs> Not this time. Kitty back. Right. What is your uh, AC, Mandred? Uh, eighteen. All right. Uh, second one would have hit, but Bane will guarantee it rolled an eighteen, so Bane will cause it to miss. Nice. All right, Musharif. All right, he is going to shrug out that blow and try and attack this thing again. Okay. Remember, Mushroom took six. Uh, no, Mushroom took yeah, six I, damage. Okay. I uh, temporary HP. Oh, okay. Ooh, I forgot I had this popcorn. All right. Uh, so Mushroom is flailing away against this thing, but he's not strong enough to penetrate its thick, uh, leathery uh, flowers. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Puny man. All right, Rain. I would like to continue raging and attempt to hit this thing with stick again. Hit it with the stick. Is that what you have? You're using a big stick? I'm using a great sword. Oh. I'm just not great at it. Oh my god. And I wasted Indeed. all the attacks testing the frickin' macro. This is absolutely tragic over here. Yeah, it's pretty ineffective. I uh, <laughs> no, no. up here. I'm, I can't find something. All right. Let's see if you can find the button on your sheet to attack this thing because it's your turn. Uh, it's, you gotta say it's my turn, and then I, I go. I, you didn't. I was getting to it. Does a fourteen hit? Uh, fourteen does not hit. Why? Because AC is higher than that. No, that should hit. No, it doesn't. Is that your only attack? Yeah, did we hit level five yet? Not yet. Mm, that's my only attack. Okay. I'm gonna need bonus action. Um. No, I don't want to use my last spell slot. Okay. So the, everyone's hacking session away. session with a long rest. You got everything back, right? Yeah, but I only have three spell slots. Oh, yeah. Paladin. I there. only used two spells. Already. All right. This thing is going to take uh, flaming sphere damage. Oh, that's true. Because it's beside it. And then more flaming sphere damage because I'm going to ram it into it. Ooh, daddy. All right. Well, he actually rolled really good on the decks there, but he has to roll a d4. So if he rolls a... Uh, he has to roll a four, though. Otherwise, he's going to take half of half or quarter. Nope. So... Uh, three, so one... And five and two. So three damage. All right, I found the thing I was looking for, and now I need to find the charger. Okay. Any right, action? So, yeah, do I notice that the thing is burning or not? Uh, it looks like it's smoldering, but like it's smoldering like like if you try and throw a fresh branch or onto a fire, it doesn't immediately catch. It's not dry. It's, it's clearly resisting the damage. Okay, I'm not sh exactly sure. There's not exactly sure why, but if he notices that it's not burning correctly, he's going to cast Storm Whip on the thing. Okay. So that is five damage. And that's piercing. Okay. And does it have any uh does Thorn would pull things to you or only if you want to? Only if you want to. Okay. It says up to ten feet. And gotcha. up to is or zero is technically yeah. Yeah. Uh that's fine. So you whip it uh you devo it and whip snakes through rain and mushreve. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. All right. And Karen. Karen. Um, which of the two looks worse for the wear? 
Now, the one next to Grain and Mushroom, because even though they're not having any effect, the arrows are, like, sticking out of it. Okay. Uh, oh, that's not actual flame. Sacred flame. Sacred flame is radiant. Oh, but you know what? I'll uh, ignore that. That was an accident. She's going to use Eldritch because there's no reason to do anything other than Eldritch Blast. Okay. She, uh, she's going Eldritch Blast. All right, 12 does not hit. Oh, okay. That's right. All right. Uh, Kayleen. Yay, I wonder what Kayleen's going to do. Man, you can't play a rogue and then complain that you're just going to hide and shoot. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not I'm not complaining. <laughs> I'm just making a joke about the fact that it's like all she's ever going to do, and it's funny to me. <laughs> Boop. That's twice now. Boop. And... Boop. All right. So you're ducking and diving and shooting, taking crazy pot shots. They're somehow hitting. Oh, how many? That's, that, that's three arrows, right? That's three arrows, yes. Okay, yeah, I gotta make sure I keep track of that. Mandrid, one or two. Uh, no, 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 I'm sorry, not Mandrid. Uh, Rain. I hate my gums because they black. Okay. One. One. All right, going for mushroom again. Disadvantage. Okay. Miss. Miss. Oh, I. I found the... I'm sorry. Oh. I didn't hit it last turn. It no disadvantage. I'm a terrible person. In case you were wondering, I found the charger that I was looking. Now I can do legal pot. Okay. Uh, so one hit then for 15 damage. On Musharif. Okay. And this guy is going to attack Mandrid. 18. Yep. And both of those miss. Thank so you. So the, the, the vines are smack, sneaking up around you, Mandrid, but you're able to kind of just slash them off defensively. Uh, Musharif's turn. All right. Musharif is going to try and skull bash this thing again. And hopefully, I actually hit this time. That's it. All right. And then plus a d6. Excellent. 10 damage. When he lands that blow, Mandrit's going to say, Good blow. Like, oh. good throw, but good blow. Something, 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 cocaine joke. <laughs> All right. So, Rain, Mushri laid a blow on this thing before you did, I think. Okay. I hit it on my first turn. Oh, did you? Okay, never mind. Yeah, that's why I did the rage macro because I forgot about damage. And that's so. right. Yep. Yeah. By the way, it's bloodied now. That bloodied it. Oh, it's my turn. Uh, it's your desk. Yeah. Reckless attack. Okay. Please roll double one. <laughs> All right. So you don't get the two plus two. It's just two. Correct. Uh, but it's still 17. All right, so Ra the Barbarian and the Druid, uh, fi or the Ranger, whatever Mushrib is, uh, finally get their shit together and just start pummeling this thing. Looks like the scene out of uh, Shaun of the Dead. Mandrid. All right, Mandrid is going to swing his longsword again. A 20, I assume, hits. Yep, He's 20 does hit. Divine Smite it for 7, total of 17. Because he has the Hunter's Mark on it still, he's going to roll that D6 on it for 5, a total of 22. I, yeah, I got it. All right. So, yeah, you're, I was 
your sword glows with your spiritual energy as you slam it home. Uh, bits of leaf and vine explode off of the uh, shambling mound. And he's going to grunt as he chops okay. away and chops away. And Mandrid sounds like uh, Tim Allen. Theron. <laughs> All right, flaming sphere. All right, so it's going to well on that. So it's going to take a fair amount of damage from that one. Theron, you're muted if you're talking. Oh, my bad. I used the wrong button. All right, so uh, first he stayed near it. So, flaming sphere damage. Then I'm going to bash it into him with a bonus action and yeah. action throw it. Okay, and that's another five damage. All right, so that was a pretty effective turn you just had there. Yeah. This thing is not going down. Nope. Uh, it's it's looking pretty. This one's looking pretty beat up. It's singed. It's got new thorns sticking out of it that weren't there before. Um, it's got several arrows piercing its you know leathery leaf hide. Uh, but it is still up. I do think it's funny that Thorn Whip actually is more effective than fire. <laughs> On a plant creature. It's not resistant to bludgeoning or piercing. Uh, Karen. Karen is going to shoot off another Eldritch Blast, but this time she's going to shoot at the one... Fighting Mandred. Eight. Okay. Very good. Burns this, singes a small hole and it's through its leaves. And Kayleen. Hey, shooting the same one. Okay. If you crit, you might kill it. Nope. Nope. It's no stick oh, attack. Well. Boop. All right. All you guys see is like the arrows flying out of nowhere, and then you turn to look, and like you still don't see exactly where your new roguey friend went. <laughs> Theron's just used to it at this point. All right, how smart are these things? They're dumb. All right, like, uh, Rain, one or do two. Do they know that this fight is is you uh, two? Is no, useless at this point. Uh, they do not, because they're dumb. Uh, two goes for Mushrib again. You're not got, you're not betting very good here. I mean, it had yeah. advantage against me and disadvantage against him, so I would much rather this particular set of circumstances. That's true. However, uh, even with disadvantage and with Bane, they can't miss these attacks. So, both hit. He takes a total of 22 damage. Oh, shit. All right, Mushrib is down. Uh, okay. Remember, he has resistance to attacks. Okay. Oh, so with so with resistance, he takes six plus four, so ten damage. Rounding really helped you guys there. Okay, he would have been at twenty. He was at eighteen. That means he would have been at twenty-four. Because mm -hmm. he took he took twelve damage last turn. He yeah he or only... fifteen damage last turn. So that means he only would have taken like. He took, Seven, he, he took he took full resist. damage last turn. Yeah, last oh, turn he wasn't okay, resisting. Okay. So this turn he is. Yes. So he takes ten damage. Yes. Not down. Not down. Okay. However, uh, you do see the vines reach up and pull the pull the mushroom into this creature. Um. And he is like sucked into it. That's not good. All right. So. That was the last channel mound. Next one goes for Mandrid. Yeah, that that uh Bane was actually a top notch play. However, it finally didn't matter. Uh, Mandrid, this one does hit you once. Actually, no, maybe not because of uh, no, we will because it doesn't have disadvantage. So, uh, it does hit you once for fourteen bludgeoning damage. Um, what is uh, Ham takes away three, right? I believe so. All right, so and I have nine. Mushrib's turn. Temporary. Okay. Uh, you said fourteen or fifteen? Fourteen. Is Mushrib 
a able to do anything to try and get out? Or on his stuck? on his turn. It is his turn. Oh, it's his turn. I'm sorry. I thought it was. <laughs> I, I I thought it was. Uh, did I skip Theron? No, no, it's not. It's so stupid. Uh, I knew it was you. I just was expecting you. Uh, so actually, on his turn, he needs to give me a Constitution saving throw. God damn it! I didn't get to kill him. Uh, he gets out. Okay. So he is. He is able to. Uh, actually, he. I'm sorry, he doesn't get out, but he doesn't take the extra, like, he's trying to crush him, but he's able to, like, resist it with his constitution. All right. Uh, and... However, he is, he is unable to breathe. Oh, okay. Well. Yeah. Uh, and he's got to make a, if he wants to get out, he needs to give me a strength or an athletics or acrobatics check, DC 14. No, oh, he's rolling hot. He's, he gets out, so yeah. He forces, you just see this dwarf just bursts out like a chest burster from Alien. Noise. Mishri pulling his weight. Yep. All right. So that's just, uh, apparently that's his turn. Okay. Yeah. But he successfully gets out and just kind of like kneels hunched over next to uh, Rain, uh, breathing heavily. Rain, it is your turn. Rain is going to reckless attack the one in front of me. Nice. Good job, kitty man. You're the worst barbarian ever. Um, Mandred. <clears throat> Mandred's going to swing. Misses. Yep. That, that's his turn. Yes, the AC is only 15. I don't know how you're missing so much. Um, I missed once, twice. As a whole. Uh, Theron. All right, again with the fire. Okay, yep. Two deck saves. You kill this thing with a fire after it's been... Okay, two fails. So... So only four. Nope, not dead. Still up. Uh, now smoldering lightly. All right, and then I'm going to throw him with this thing again. All right. Thorn with does not put it down. Uh, it's, it's, it's like shuffling. It looks like it's on his last legs, but it's as it were, it doesn't actually have legs. But uh it's not down. Still moving. Alright, that's all Theron can do. <clears throat> Alright. Karen. Uh, do I have to do everything, boys? When she shoots an elders blast at it. Apparently she not. Says, implying that she can do anything. And she misses. <laughs> yep. Uh so she was talking shit and then she failed. Which yeah, she's fucking Karen. Yep. Kayleen. All right. Kayleen's going to try to finish this fucking thing off. All right. Yay. Yep. That does, Yay. in fact. Work. Yeah, you know, the six was enough to kill it. That's fine. Yep. This fight's much more interesting if you don't cast Bane on them because then it might swallow you as occasionally. Oh, nerfed, well, you, we'll yeah, you, we'll you, you that in mind next time and not yeah, cast Bane. <laughs> you effectively nerfed its most effective attack. Uh, all right, so that's Shanley Mound. Can keep going for Mandred? Because you smell good. Thank you. Not as good as Dragon Bait. Not as good as Dragon Bait. All right, both of them miss because of Bane. Uh, Musharib. All right. Musharib is going to hang back for a little bit because he does not want to get swallowed by this thing. Okay. He's going to move Hunter's Mark. And he's going to chunk a hand axe at this thing. All right. And mid. Yep. Does not hit. Rain's in the way. So he, like, tries to rainbow and just bounces off. Rain. <sighs> I will reckless attack because why not? Okay. That's why not. That's why not. All right. And Mandred is your turn. I'm sorry. Nope. Nope. All right, and Theron. 
All right, I'm going to command my flaming sphere to fly or to move over here and ram into the flaming or ram into the shambling mouth. All right. So seven damage or that. Yep. And whipping it or hitting the plant creature with another plant seems to be affected. So I'm going to throw one whip again. All right. Yep. Uh, plants are apparently plant types are apparently resist uh, vulnerable to plant types. Makes total sense. And not fire types. Yep. And Karen. Karen, Karen, Bill Baron, Banana, Fana, Fo. Um, she really doesn't have much. Rest. Uh, yeah, same thing. Um, let me see what this does actually. Yeah, this is a D8 radiant with a dexterity save instead of an attack roll with a D10 force. Yeah, you're right. Uh, All right. All right, Kayleen. Oh boy, it's my turn to shoot the thing in the face. Yep, it doesn't have a face. It's a plant. Oh yeah. That's three crit yeah. fail that you've rolled on the first attack. Don't care. Advantage is amazing. 15, 18, 27. All right. Very bloodied now. Oh, yeah. Because it was, it was on the verge of bloody before, and that was a lot of honestly, hit points. Uh, honestly, too, this is making up for my other D&D games, because lately, especially in my uh, Wednesday game, I've been rolling absolute shit. <laughs> so this is making up for it. I feel very good right now. All right. So let's see. Um, Mandred, one, one or two? Uh, one. All right, going for rain. With advantage, right, rain? Yep. All right, it is going to hit you twice. Oh, shit. Sorry, brother. Uh, are you in, uh, you have resistance, right? Yep, I'm raging. Okay, so it's nine and eight damage with it when it's halved. Uh, and it sucks you inside of itself. Oh, oh shit. I'm sorry, man. So 17 total damage, and you are engulfed. I just want to point out that every time I picked a number, I did not get hit. And the moment that Mandra does, I get sucked into this fucking thing. <clears throat> yeah, but I wasn't going to pick a number to make myself get hit. What kind of fucking stupid thing would that be? Uh, it would have disadvantage. Oh, no, I missed. Never mind. You said nine damage and then eight damage. Nine and eight, yes. So a total of seventeen. What can I do to make him get out of there? Nothing is on him. Uh, it's his can checks. I, can I like tickle him or like <clears throat> French uh, tickle? Like on your on your turn, I'll give you a chance to do something if you like on your action. But right yeah. now, it's Mushreeb's turn. All right, Mushreeb is going to. Uh... Well, he still does want to get close to this thing. Hand axe again. And miss. Yep, that's very effective. Rain, constitution safe, please. That's a DC 14. I don't think rage gives me advantage. Nope. Okay. Where's my plus symbol? So you take 12 uh, bludgeoning damage as it squeezes you. I don't know if that rage has that or not for you. It does. It does? Okay, so six damage. Uh, now, if you want to try and get out, you need to give me a athletics or acrobatics check. DC is 14. Hmm. Okay, I got advantage on strength checks and strength saving throws. So, athletics would be advantage then. <laughs> okay. Yep. So, it's squeezing you and basically you pop out like a, a zit. You just go pop and flop out. Hey. 
stupid barbarian rage if it didn't do like how much would you be if you weren't if that damage wasn't halved would you be in pretty bad shape it would have been 20 i started with 50 hit points and you had me down to 27 having halved everything so i would so be yes. at two hit points That'd be much more fun. Um, oh well, probably actually dead considering rounding goes in my favor. Uh, actually, it was all it was all even numbers, so it was all flat. Oh, what are you? In that case, yeah, there you go. Uh, Rain, uh, that was your turn. Mandrid is now your turn. All right. <clears throat> all right. Mandrid's gonna finally do it because he's had enough. Um, he's gonna use his channel divinity, valve enmity. Um, giving him advantage on attack rolls. Uh, Luxor. Uh, he didn't fucking need it this time. And that's such a shitty roll. Alright. Just the nine damage. Alrighty. So it's oh. the sword. And the six. He gets the six for the, the D six for Hunter's Mark, yep. But for the rest of he gets, uh... he gets two d six because of advantage. Oh, he gets two d six. All right, another eleven. All right, this thing's looking pretty bad. Theron, uh, first thing dexterity saves, of course, right? Yep. I don't remember why I have a sheet open. So, and then I'm gonna bash it again, into it again and throw it away. All right. And Thornwood does not hit this time. Wait, he he gets two d six. Why does he yeah, get two d six? Because you crit. Oh, because uh, I crit, not because. Okay, I'm sorry. And I'm getting two rolls on flaming sphere because it's not moving. Right. It should be doing on my turn, but I always forget, so I just let him do it on yours. Oh. It's easier that way. Um. Now, Theron, if it's an intelligent creature, you need to remind me. Because a, a smart creature would move away from the hot ball. Yeah. Um, so remind me. In this case, it's stupid. It's not going to move. Uh, but it should be having on its turn. So please, I, I apologize. I forget. I got a lot of shit going on. Just remind me in the future. Yeah, I will. Okay. Uh, Karen. Mandred. Gee, I sorry. Every time I forget, I'm like waiting for Matt to be like, "Um, Karen's gonna Eldritch Blast." Eldritch Blast. All right, that does hit, and that is enough to blow it into planty chunks all over rain. That's how you do it, boys. Uh, Mandrid's gonna take a pretty sturdy. Um, branch, flexible branch, and uh, like vine, and tie it into a knot over a piece of his armor. All right. <clears throat> what was your guys' AC at before? What do you mean? Five. Five. At thirteen. Um, I don't know about everybody else's. I mean, thirteen. Rain is fifteen. Mine's 18. Colleen is 15 as well. Theron is 16 or 17. Wait, are you giving me your HP or XP? Oh, oh I AC. thought you said AC. Yeah, I thought you said AC. Our, a our XP is at 4,900. 4,900. Yeah. yeah. Alright, what's the next level for you guys? 72, I think? 72? Okay, no, we're close. Never mind. Wait. I'm going to be a bore. I think it's 72. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. No, it's 65. I'm, yeah. I'm at 65. I was going to say 6,500. 6,500? Yeah. Yeah. So we've only got 16, yeah, 1,600 to go. All right. Very good. Very interesting. 
<laughs> so you guys continue on southward as you reach the south end of the uh, as you get to like the pool of lava looking across you can kind of see like through the fog now there is a stairs leading down into the city yeah Ooh. But well, we still got quite a distance to travel, though, right? Uh, it's, it's, it's about a half mile. It's probably about a mile when you go around the long way. Uh, and you're a little more than halfway there. You're, like, over here at this point. Uh, Looks like a great place for a long rest, right, guys? Just kidding. Well, Mushreeb's going to say something about hurting. Um, how is everybody looking? Oh, uh, Colleen speaks up. She's just like, I'm fine. <laughs> Rain could definitely use a sit down. He would not complain about a, a sip of water and a snack. Well, I can, I can heal y'all up pretty good, but if we want to take a rest, I'm, that's what I'm trying to figure out. I mean, uh, out of character, do we want do we want to take a rest, or do we want me to heal you, or what? I'm at I, I, I'm at half and no temp HP. I say we heal and then find a, a permanent location to to uh, what time of day is it, Ken? It, it's early. It's probably like right around noon at this point. All right. I say we heal up immediately and then travel a bit more and find uh once once we travel a bit more, find a more suitable location to make camp for the night. Um. Uh, but do you want a short rest, or do you want a long? Do you want to just use spell slots? I was only asking for a short rest, by the way, um, for clarification. Yeah, I was yeah, we can do a short. You, I was we asking can, if you wanted me to heal you, or if you wanted me if you want to take a short rest. I could use my. I don't have any spell slots or smites. I mean, what I could do is use. I have about twenty five HP. I could just dish out right now, um, and. And I don't know if you have slots or berries that we could use to heal up, or if well, you guys if... want to use a short rest. But yeah, I I'd say it. I'd say we use a short rest because we are about to go. All right, because from what we were told, this city is super dangerous. Once we get in there, we have no idea how long it's going to be before we can get a rest, and you need to hold on to that twenty-five HP of lay on hands uh, just in case we need it. Also, yeah, we take a short before... rest to care and get her spell slots back. Exactly be before. Karen only used one slot. Before we before we go into that city, I need my smites back. So I don't get my spice back without a long rest. So the short rest really doesn't do anything for us but give Karen back one. And those people use hit dice instead of spell slots. You save, you save other resources. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say save up because we still have. I'm not sure how good Theron is, but I mean, he's a druid. He's he's probably got plenty of spell slots left. I've used one. Yeah. So. Yeah, I'm saying I don't know if we really need. I'm saying my my healing hands and should I. They really don't matter that much because I'm not going to use them in combat. And... Uh, I don't know. I mean, I still think that they would work, and you can use them in mid combat. Sometimes it helps. I I'm not going to use them in combat. I'm going to fight. It's just not going to happen. That's how you heal in five E. You kill the thing that is hurting yeah, you. I can, yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm, sure. I'm not going to use them in combat. Who needs HP? I need twenty five points of hit. You have twenty five hit points. Boom. Done. Who else yeah. needs an HP? Mushreep is uh, he's Where's an eight. Excellent. Out of what? Thirty. Okay. Can you heal him for anything, or are we taking a short? Rest? Just let's take a short rest. Okay, take a short rest. Okay, <laughs> then I'm not gonna take that healing from you, boss. Okay. Yeah, just hold on to your lay on hands. We might need it later. I'm fucking peach keen now. It's one of the one of the few benefits of being a, an assassin. <laughs> you fucking never in the midst if you can help it. Yeah, that's they. 
the two primary characters I was looking at going into this with were up front Barbarian Beefstick and in the back Ranged uh, Rogue. Scout, but still like... I don't it still want, works. Yeah, I don't want to be hit. Yeah. It still works. The great thing about it is, is that you can kind of let your constitution fall flat. I mean, if you do get hit, you're going to get really fucked up, but the whole point is to not get hit. I went with the Barbarian because I've never actually played one in any edition of D&D, for one. Uh, two, I, I don't have. normally play melee characters. In fact, at the beginning of our Storm King's Thunder game, before this one, I was a paladin, and I absolutely hated it. I would spend I all of combat walking across the field because every single combat in Storm King's Thunder was on giant-sized maps. So I would spend three rounds walking to something for it to grab yeah, me Storm and King throw Thunder me across the map, or for it to be dead once I got there. Yeah, Storm King Thunder's a bitch and a half, and all yeah, all the maps are fucking massive in that too. Um, but I try to get out of my bubble of what do you play? I play rogues, rangers, and wizards. Also clerics. Yeah, I play a lot of I play a lot of spellcasters and. Uh, fucking monks. Actually, I really like monks. I really want to play a monk. One didn't quite really fit into what folks were talking about for their characters, and I don't super worry about group composition, but considering that we were already doing meat grinder rules and going into a big fuck you jungle, I did not want to also add, oh, there's not really any kind of tank. Yeah, I mean, I guess it just depends. I, I I think that monks are fucking pretty good for whatever you need them for. Honestly, I just, they do enough. They do yeah. enough damage at higher levels to fucking keep up with pretty much anybody, and they're just yeah. fucking awesome. They're so much fun. They just work exponentially better when there's a fighter, barbarian, or paladin standing there doing other Take, things. Yeah, <laughs> taking the hits and stuff for them. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to refill my water, though, while Ken's uh, off having an image. So, I'm, I'm like, I, I don't think we can go too far into the city without a long rest. I'm just well, the, the good, the, well, the good news is, is that this city is fucking massive. I don't think we're going to yeah. get very far before we end up, before it's nighttime and we end up having a long rest. It's just going to be a matter of finding a safe place to do it. Yeah, just... It was I. I used everything. I used my channel divinity and all of my spell slots because it was like me on one shambling mass for most of that fight, and the rest of the party on the other shambling mass for for most of the fight. So, um, you know what I mean. So yeah, I should have like... I, I I should have done better at um you know um uh. What is it? What's it called? Fucking resource. Uh, resource management. Yeah, resource management there. But I was trying to kill it as quick as possible because um, I'm an asshole like that. <laughs> I was trying to kill it quicker than you guys killed yours. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna happen, dude. <laughs> like, it's just not. I came pretty close. It did. It actually came pretty close. <laughs> But I think if I would have hit two of those rounds that I missed, I would have had a shot. So. All you right, guys missed a lot of rounds. Is everybody back or? Well, uh, Bounty Hunter yeah. went to go grab water yeah. really fast. Okay. Who has the Tyler? Yep, I'm here. Okay. Well, we can just go ahead and continue on Hunter pick up yeah. any we get back. So yeah, you guys and are... we did decide on short rest. All right, and you guys did your short rest, and you're all good. Okay, actually, I don't think I've uh, Hunter and I had a conversation. I think I'm going to try something. I don't know if I did this last session or not. Um, I think I'm going to stop giving out inspiration as such. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold. I have inspiration, so hold. let me use. Hold on, let me finish, please. You can keep any inspiration you have and use it as normal, but I'm not going to give out anymore. What you can do instead is if you choose to, you can spend hit dice to give yourself inspiration, but you can only give yourself inspiration with it, and you have to say you're going to do it before you roll. 
Okay. Okay. Wait, what? I don't get it. Basically, you can spend a hit dice to have... You can spend one of your hit dice before you roll and be like, hey, I'm going to spend a hit dice and give myself inspiration in case this doesn't work out. If it doesn't work out, you have advantage. And you can be like, yay. Well, you just, yeah, you give yourself advantage with... A, you can use your hit die to give yourself advantage if you so choose. Uh, on uh, any, any d20 roll. But you got to say it before you roll. Gotcha. Okay. Um, and can I you... Use- uh, can I use my hit die? How about the inspiration that I have right now, the one that I have, I'll give it up if you give me back my spell slots. No. How about I'll mail you a box of Swedish fish if I can have my spell slot? So I give you back the resources you missed. Uh, you, you'll give me the worst candy ever invented. Outside of like black licorice, Swedish fish are delicious. Have you ever had the sour patch Swedish fish? No, because I don't eat Swedish fish because they're disgusting. No. Oh, yeah, they're not good. No, the sour patch Swedish fish are amazing. Black licorice is oh, worse, so I agree with you. On that one. Some drunkard made oh, Swedish fish Oreos, and I wonder what they were smoking. Oh, that's disgusting. Have you ever had? I just found it last week. It's called black and white popcorn. Black and white swirl popcorn. And it's Can't say pop- it. it's it like black- popcorn with chocolate chocolate on it. Oh my god, it's popcorn with black and white chocolate swirls all over. I've heard of it. I've never tried it. I oh like my caramel god. corn though. Oh my god. It's like caramel corn with chocolate on it. It's delicious. Now I want popcorn. <laughs> it's so good. Pat just sounded like he had an orgasm. But anyways. I, oh. I think I did. I have to check my pants. I'll send you a box of it if you give me my spell slot. Yeah, back. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't send me a box of your orgasm, please. I don't want it. Um, <laughs> uh, the old Reddit cum box. <laughs> I'll show up at your lawn at 3 o'clock in the, the, the second Tuesday of the month. When the sprinklers are going off, and I'll masturbate in my Batman costume. I understand that reference. Very specific <laughs> reference. Can we get? Let's get back to the game, shall we? Hi there, yes. Internet. This is Discuss. Um, <laughs> so you guys are watching our stream. <laughs> Sorry, that's all right. You guys continue onward through the uh, lush undergrowth. We'll go ahead and we'll say you get to the top of those stairs right there. Where's uh, that? Uh, bottom left corner. Bottom left corner. Mm. Uh, bottom. Past the lava? Yeah. I just, like I very just bottom left corner of the map. Yeah, Right here. Uh, okay. I'm, pay- I'm paying it for you guys. Someone keeps moving the map. Yeah, I keep moving it to the stairs. Don't do that. Right here? Yes. Yes. We could just take a nap right there. There's nothing else. Oh. Well, it's still pretty early in the day. If you want to make camp, but let me describe to you what you see real quick, and then you can make up your minds what you want to do. A guardhouse stands near the entrance to the city. Arrow slits are cut into its limestone walls, and a lopsided iron porcolis hangs over the gateway, beyond which you see an open plaza. Cool. Interesting. So there is a room now. You can continue downward into the city if you want, but there is a secured guardhouse here if you want to try and go explore. Yeah, let's... Or if let's you want to explore anything else. You don't, like, you don't have to go down. You can look at the cliffs. You can do whatever you want to do. I'm not telling you... Yeah, this do. doesn't... This doesn't... There's no indication here that this is a, like any sort of thriving city or that there's anybody... There's no uh, sign of life that you can see. What's up there? Okay. Well, the last time something like this happened... Uh, we lost our map. So I'm not going to suggest going through the uh, guardhouse. Well, well. Rain's apparently picking his nose, taking a nap against a tree. Okay. 
Hmm. So do you want to check out the guardhouse? Ooh, there might be cool stuff in there. Maybe some treasure. Oh, I want to check out. I'll be back in a second. I just spilled uh, cookie wait, all over me. Uh, wait, that's what Theron said. He wanted to check out the guardhouse. Yeah, Theron's going to suggest checking out the guardhouse before we go down. Um, this place is still... There might be some useful things inside. I agree. I want to go to guardhouse. Looks fun. Okay. And the last time we listened to the DM, we uh, lost our map. So I expect something bad to happen. Hey. Uh, as, you en- as you enter the uh, guardhouse, much of the interior has collapsed into rubble. Creepers cling to the walls. High grasses sprout between the flagstones amidst evidence of long-dead campfires. One wall is covered with graffiti. Some words painted, others etched. What language are they written in? Common. Ooh, what does it say? What does it say? Okay, there are several things written there. The first thing is, fear the fangs of Ras Nisi. Uh, the second is Eric. I have gone in search of the nine shrines. V. The third one says the puzzle cubes are the key. The next one says beware the frog monster. And the next one says who is Unk. Below that it says all hail the king of feathers. Below that it says the snakes are not what they seem. The last one says Kubazan equal. I'll, I'll spell this out for you. Kubazan equals bravery. Shagami equals wisdom. Moa equals question mark. All right. That one seems like it would be useful. Do I know that Moas are a giant extinct bird? No, you know that they are a uh, Moa. I wasn't using the names in the story because it's more confusing. Kubazan is. The uh, where's it going? Shigambi is the Commodon. Uh, what was the other ones? So Shigambi is the Commodon. Uh, Kubazan is the Frog Hemoth. Moa is well, you don't know that because it's question mark. Oh, actually, you would know what kind of creature it is. Uh, Moa is, I believe, snake. It's a Moa constrictor. Yes, I believe that's what it is. And yeah, one of them also snake. said. And mm-hmm. one of the things also said, "Beware the fangs of who now, Rakshisi, Rasnisi, Rasnisi." Okay. The Lord of all the badness. Yes. Oh, okay. He's a bad mother. Shut your. Mouth. Hmm. All right. Can I uh, look around for anything else interesting, or is it just rubble? Uh, looks like it is just rubble through here. I mean, you can look at anything else if you want outside or inside. Is there anything particular you're looking for? Uh, just looking around for weapons. Uh, maybe some more bug repellent or something of that. It's not anything that could be useful to us that might be inside here. Okay. Give me an inv- investigation check. I'll go with him and look. I'll assist in the investigation. Oh, okay. boy. Advantage? Oh. Okay. So, with advantage, uh, you don't really... There's lots of, like, uh, like firewood stacked up. Like, people have clearly camped here over the years, although not recently. Uh, but you don't find any kind of... Anything useful. Okay. Well, we'll get uh, back also, to the group. Yeah, it go also ahead. looks like the uh, porcullus... Uh, it's kind of like stuck, so you wouldn't be able to drop it. So you have like a, a small doorway, so like one person can pass at a time, but the recalls won't come down. Hmm. All right. It well, seems, it seems this place isn't as lost as we thought. Well, I mean, the firewood here hasn't been used for a really long time, it looks like. Um, and I mean, there's no telling how old all of these all these scribblings are. So you know, I mean. We do have a pretty safe place, though, if, you know, we decide we want to go scout the area a bit and then come back and rest and um, some clues as to what might be inside of 
you know, the city. Uh, you know, what what with the shrines and the cubes and some kind of frog monster we gotta deal with. Who was looking for the nine shrines? Hmm? The note about nine shrines, who left to go look for them? Ah. Uh V has gone to go search for them. Okay, I couldn't remember if V had gone to search for them or if V had signed I'm gone to look for them or V was talking about somebody else. Thank you. Uh, er Eric, comma, I have gone to search for the nine shrines, period. V, period. Eric with a C or a K? With a K. Mandrew, would you please uh, mute yourself while you're messing with whatever you're messing with there? No. <laughs> uh, hey. Musharib, do you know if maybe the nine shrines are a reference to the shrines of Upto? I don't know how many you might know of in the jungle. Uh, let me check here. Da -da 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 -da. Let me give him a religion check because he wouldn't necessarily... I, I know that we have seen two, maybe three on the way down here, but I did not know if you knew of others, and if obviously there was more than nine of them, then it could not be them. He rolled a crit, so he is going to uh, think for a moment and say, uh, there were... Nothing about Uptau is nine. Not Uptau likes mazes. There were nine of trick the trickster gods. There were nine of them. Nine different gods? Yes, in the story, in the legend. For each of the animals. Ah. So, so does that mean that the nine shrines are in the city? Why would uh, he leave the city to go look for them? Or do you think he left a note saying he was going into the city to look for them? Uh, I mean, considering that this is the only stairway that we found under the city and this guardhouse is the first thing we found, I mean, it would stand to reason that these notes were for people coming into the city and not leaving. Or it could just all be graffiti. Or that. I mean, yeah, you know, crazy people doing crazy things. I mean, if somebody had set up camp in the city, it is very possible that uh, while they were leaving, they left a note for their comrade when he was coming back. But this is all just conjecture. How do you spell unk? U-N-K-H. Tashkoshima. What? It's Persian for thank you. Oh. Sorry, I'm still writing all the notes down in the journal. No worries. Oh, and right. thank you for that, because I'm going to look at it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm loving that you're doing all the notes. <laughs> All right, so uh, what do you guys want to do? Uh, we can, you know, maybe rest here, or if you guys want, somebody can come with me and we can scout the place out. Sounds like fun. I'd like to know more about where we're at before we go uh, further in. I can help you scout. Cool. Service. Are you good at staying hidden? Uh, you could say that. My people are especially good at that. All right. Sounds good to me. Rain, what were you going to say? I was going to make a terrible uh, Starship Troopers joke. Okay, I'm glad you didn't have a chance to. Uh, so you guys are going to scouting. Where are you going to go scout at? Uh, well, it seems like we're kind of funneled into just moving on ahead into the city uh, from where we're at. So uh, actually, yeah, she'll ask Theron. Um, let's see. Do you want to go up on the ridge uh, over and around? Because we can get a closer, you know, bird's eye kind of view up to the, you know, this area over here, or we can just go straight in from where we're at and, you know, uh, scout on the ground floor. Uh, what looks like the easiest way, I guess, Ken? 
the easiest way, I mean, you can go straight ahead. And by the way, it, there's a lot more underbrush than what the map shows. Like, everything is overgrown. They may not be towering trees everywhere, but there's lots of bushes and vines and creepers and all kinds of unpleasantness. Uh, so slow going wherever you're going. There's also places to hide. Uh, so if you want to get a bird's eye view, you can go up the you know back of the stairs and go around the cliff on the other side and look down. Uh, or if you want to go in there, you could even, I mean, you can try and climb the cliffs. There's lots of creepers and you know, the cliffs are eroding away, so it looks like there's handholds. Well, uh, what you want to do, Theron? Let's go up top so we get so we can get a better view. All righty. All right, both of you, give me stealth checks, please. Yes, All right, uh, I'm going to cast Pass Without Trade. Yeah, okay. the fuck you are. All right. Because I had oh, that. Oh God! Thank God I, I had did. that feat, <laughs> and I have not used it yet. And uh, I'm going to. Well, not right now. Hmm? I'm going to shift into something, but when, once we need to climb or something. Okay. So let's double check. Very good. So no, let's, uh... All right. So you guys go up on top. Give me perception checks, both of you. Yeah. Can I climb up on top of this little guardhouse, gatehouse thing that we're at? God damn it. Uh, sure. What do you want? Are you just going to climb up and like, sit up there, or what are you trying to do? I'm a cat. Yeah, I understand that. Does you just want to be up high because you're a cat, and that's what cats do? Yes. Are you gonna like start knocking pebbles off the top of it just to be an asshole too? You don't know me. <laughs> he's gonna, he's gonna bring a bottle up there just so we can knock it off. All right. So you're sitting up there on the top. Um, Mander, is there anything you want to do uh, while the two of them scout around? Um, I'm sorry. I I must have been muted when I said I was running to the restroom. Uh, they're, I'm guessing they're on top of the guardhouse. Well, uh, Rain's on the guardhouse. Yeah. Theron and uh, Colleen are scouting into the city. Yeah, we went up. We went back to the stairs and up the cliffs this way, and are heading uh, up towards this area to kind of get a bird's eye view and scout around and see what we can see. And Rain is back by the guardhouse. I'm with yes, you. Yeah. I'm just on the guardhouse. Yeah, the three of you stayed back at the guardhouse. You, uh, so Pat and Mandred, uh, Rain, and Karen are all at the guardhouse. I'll stay with Rain and um, and Karen. Okay. Um, so, Kayleen, you don't see anything while you're scouting around. Uh, Theron, you see on the cliffs below you, it looks like there's a path leading to a cave. Uh, do you see that cave over there? Ooh, where? Where? Out. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, what is that? Ooh, caves are always fun. Yeah, the, the entrance actually comes out like right next to the stairs. Like there's a little goat path that's narrow going up. Um, so you can't get. You can climb down from the top, or you can go to the path and wind your way up the cliff. You want to climb, or do you want to backtrack? I can do whatever. I can always just shift into something. Okay. So I can, uh... Oh, by the way, uh, Theron, also with that check, you also see a couple more of those gargoyles. Like, it looks like they're ever they're perched every 100 to 150 feet on the cliff again. Okay. I'll make note of that. Ooh, are there are any there of those any... gargoyle statues around here? Yeah, that's what I just said, that there's gargoyle oh. statues. Okay, yeah, yeah. Are there any in the city that we notice? No, but you haven't really gone into the city yet. Okay. All right. Um, so we're pretty. Uh, how far down is this path, like from where we're at currently? Uh, well, the cave's about thirty feet from the top. The path from where you are currently is probably like fifty feet from the top. Okay. So okay. So I have enough rope for that. So yeah, I can. Um, I'll go to one of the gargoyle statues and uh tie tie my rope off to my crowbar and just kind of hook it. <laughs> into the into the gargoyle statue and make sure it's nice and secure. Okay. Yeah. Uh, give me a uh, some sort of dexterity check, not acrobatics, sure. but like a uh, sleight of hand or something. Ah, oh, yeah, I can do that. There we go. All 
Okay. Yeah, you are able to tie. You get secured nice and tight. And while while y'all are doing that, or Kayleen's doing that, I'm just going to shift into an ape and climb on up there. Okay. So you start climbing down the cliff. Yeah, I have a climb still. Okay. So you do that, Kayleen. You do that. Uh, those of you sitting on top of the uh, wall there see them start scaling down. Uh, however, at this point, as soon as you get about ten feet down the cliff, the gargoyle comes alive. Um, yep. Uh -huh. <laughs> yep. That that happens. <laughs> And it's holding your rope. Oh, you guys have no Killing, idea. How, can I, like, I was so excited as you started doing that, Kayleen. <laughs> can I, like, do I do I notice this, or is it just like uh Like, you notice the rope start to move, and you're like, why is the rope moving? And then you look up, and you realize the gargoyle is, like, staring right at you and is, like, yanking back up on the rope. Uh, uh yeah, rope. she's going to slide, like, a no, quick no, slide down the rope. Hold, hold on. Okay, okay. We're going to roll initiative. So can it see us since we were very stealthy and we have passed without a trace up? Um, <laughs> you are currently climbing down a cliff. It definitely sees Kayleen because Kayleen's tied to it. Yeah. Um, I will give you the opportunity to make a stealth check. It's like, but we have passed without a trace. I know. It's all, but I mean, it's magic. It's aware that there's somebody climbing down the thing. So with pass without a trace. So it's a 20. Okay. It's pretty focused on Kayleen right now. So yes, it is. Unaware that you are there. All right. Um, Corey, I hope you have another character in mind. Um, oh, boy. <laughs> uh, oh. So, yeah, why don't the, the two. I had thought work? about it too. I was like, yeah, is it going to work if I stab it into the ground? Probably not. Let's hook it to a fucking gargoyle. To be fair, it, tying it off has nothing to do with it. If you climb down from the top of the cliffs, they animate an attack. Oh, okay. Um, are they all coming alive? Is it just the one? And, um, yeah. And and do we do we can we see it? All of us down um, on top of the uh, on top of the uh, uh, us on the bottom. Do we notice? It's pretty it? obvious when Kayleen starts climbing down the rope. Uh, so I'll say as soon as it takes its turn and starts flying, <laughs> you'll see that there's a gargoyle. Like one of the gargoyles came alive, but you all notice it yet. But you'll still be an initiative, but it's basically like a surprise round on you guys. Um, uh, and is it is it all of them, or is it the one you don't know? That's a good question. You'll have to find out. Uh, so why don't you guys roll me initiative? We have no tokens. Uh, that's true. Uh, da, 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 so one second. Let's move you back over to here, just for the sake of argument. So you can use your tokens. Go ahead and roll it again there, and I'll give you a 16. Less is better. That's my fault. Oh, no. Oh, no, I'm so dead. Yeah. Oh, by the way, these, 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 these things are nine feet tall, by the way. Oh, shit. I kind of have an idea of what it's going to try to do to me, too, and this is not going to be fun. I mean, I can fly, but probably not as fast as them. Let's see. What is the fattest wild shape I can turn into? Bear? I can't turn into a bear. Oh, yeah. I mean, what has the most HP? Because I have a feeling I'm about to do some falling. <laughs> I've got some falling to do. Why are you gonna fall? Where are you? I'm climbing. But and why? Why are you gonna fall? Because he's gonna knock it off the cliff. Cliff's not as tall here. We're gonna say you're about seventy feet up. I think I says what, I, what the rope the where you guys are. Oh, uh, so yeah, you guys have a gargoyle to fight. Two of you do. Three. Yeah, the other two of you, they're probably about a hundred feet away from where you are. Um. Make sure that's an accurate description of as we've seen. Oh boy. You know what's so stupid about this is I think you should make a rule on this, Ken. The my flight speed as in my Azamar form, in my uh my flight speed with my wings is only thirty feet. Isn't that stupid? No, because it's equal to your walk speed, because you're not 
You're not you're not like a flying creature like a dragon or something, so you wouldn't fly as fast. You're a smaller creature. Most also, creatures of the of the, like a medium size or whatever can't fly that fast. Yeah, but but casting fly on me gives me a fly speed of sixty. Also, remember when you have, when you have mul- multiple speeds, you use them both at the, at the same turn. So you could run and fly at the same turn. Today I learned. Really? I think that's yeah. how it works. Yeah. I'm gonna Google. So I'm you- pretty sure that's how it works because I, I know um, I know a lot of DMs will rule that you can like run up to a wall and then use your full climb speed or yeah. whatever. It's like a tabaxi. Yeah, that's how the monster manual describes it. Yeah. <laughs> so then. What if I dashed? Then you get both, double both your speeds. So I could run for 60 and fly for 60? Yeah. All right. Well, then I'm going to be there in one turn. Okay. And I'm okay. not going to I'm not gonna have used all of my running and... Mm. All right. It'll still be a dash. I mean, you're going to get... It's going if to... Yeah. If you dash and use all your movement, I'll let's say you can be there in one turn. Yeah. Um, okay. That seems silly. It's gonna be fun. That's why. That's why different move speeds matter. Yeah. And why, and why they don't give you sixty feet of move a fly speed because you can run if you want to. You we can, can leave, leave your friends, friends behind. Because <laughs> your friends <laughs> don't so run, and if they don't run, well, they're no friends of mine. That's enough of that. Uh, Tyler, you have your ape sheet. All right. Um, I am. Do I notice this giant gargoyle thing? Uh, not yet. Me? Well, actually, hold on. Give me a second. Let me figure out what's going on. Because I'm still setting up your thing with the ape. Okay. Calm, calm down, Tyler. Don't, don't go ape sheet. <laughs> well, hi there, Hunter. Your voice changed. <laughs> yeah, the pun. I can appreciate it though. I hate every single one of you. <laughs> yeah, man, that's a lot of lip for a dead man. I know, right? I'm so fucking screwed. Damn it, there! I really wish I wouldn't have fucking like left it up to you because my idea was to like just go back and just take the path. Although it probably would have fucking awakened then too. Like I don't know. No, well, because you didn't climb down from the top. God damn it. Oh, I was sitting here so it was so hard to stay quiet. I was so happy. Uh, <laughs> there it is, your turn. Uh, let's see here. It started to move. I'm gonna say you don't. You could look once you you'll see. Uh, uh, Kayleen start to sway, uh, and then when you look up, you'll see the gargoyle like perched, pulling on the rope and looking like it's about to fly away. Wait, what? It's pulling on the rope, about to fly away. Yeah, because the rope's tied to it. Oh, crap. Basically, it's got me by the short hairs. All right. I'm going to run over to Kayleen and grapple Kayleen. Cut the rope, man. I'm an ape climbing on a wall. I don't have anything to cut the rope with. He's also a big ape, so he could carry me easily. I'm a tiny little woman. All right, uh, let's see. Athletics plus five, so it'll be that plus four. I, I don't 15. resist. I don't resist. I allow this, so okay. I don't think this. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, you are able to grab uh, Kayleen and hold her against the wall. All right, and I'm going to use the rest of my movement to start going down. Well, how far How far uh, up are we? I'm going to say you're about 70 feet up. Uh, you can actually you can get down on this turn to the uh, to the path. It's a narrow path. It's about fifty feet above the the ground, but you can get there. Well, it's better than being on the. Uh, it's better than being near the gargoyle. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to go down to the path. Okay, so you go down to the path. You're about fifty feet from the top. Okay. Uh, the, it's a very good thing you. Well, let's let's see what's this movement speed. Darren's about to get very special presents from Kayleen for saving her life. 
Uh, by the way, Theron, there is, you have a ape sheet. If you look in the, there's a folder that says uh, Theron's Druid Bullshit. All right. Uh, and I gave you, you have a sheet for any creature you give, I'm, I give you a sheet for, so like you have a sheet there for your spider and for your ape. That's good. All right, so actually, let's see, let's do a quick drawing here. Not to scale, because it's, you guys are like, actually, you're an ape. Right? So you're the ape. Theron's just off the screen. Your mother was a monkey. Your father was a babu. You guys are way the fuck over here. <laughs> All right, hey, the gargoyle. It's not fond. Of, it's not happy with the fact it can no longer dunk you guys. Uh, well, still probably could. Hmm. Does it want to do that? Does it want to beat the shit out of you? What's it want to do? It wants to wait one more turn so I can dash and get down to the ground. That's not his idea. That's not think it's a good idea. Uh. Can we see this all unfold? You do. You do now. You saw like the ape grab the grab Kayleen and jump down. You're like, what's going on over there? And then you look up and you see one of the gargoyles swoop down on them. Uh, it has 60 feet of fly speed, indeed. So it does fly right down at you guys. Um, it is going. I really wanted to fly and drop one of you guys in lava. I knew that's what you were fucking planning on, too. I looked at the map, and I was like, there's lava over there, and he's grabbing my rope and about to fly. Hmm, I wonder where he's going to drop me. I uh, forgot about that. I fucking knew you were going to do that shit. Yeah. <laughs> you bastard. Uh, shiny on stream was guessing that there was going to be lava death as well. Ah, uh, hmm. I like this is the only time I've got I've gone first on initiative. Yep. You know, it's not going to re really recognize... I don't, it's not how intelligent these things. They're dumb as shit. It's not going to recognize the ape as a person. The apes climb up and down there, no problem. So it's going to be going for Kayleen. Uh, it, is, it does say they are cruel. So I think it's going to try and grapple you. Okay. It, gets a lot of, it gets a lot of attacks. Actually, it's going to try and punch you a couple times first. Okay, sure. Yeah, let's do it. Mm-hmm. All right, so it punches you in the face a couple times. You take 18 damage from that. Yeah, uh-huh. Uh, and that's going to... You do have 9 temporary HP. Yeah, yeah, I have 40 all together right now, so minus 18 is fucking what now? All right. Oh, I can just hit minus 18, can I? Yep. Yep. Oh, boy. All right. Uh, it's going to use two actions to try and grapple you. So I uh, give me uh. athletics or acrobatics. Two times? Two times. So, All right. Both times you succeed in avoiding being graveled. Ha ha, bitch. All right. <laughs> Get away from me. And then it's going to bite you. Yeah, it is. Yep. All right. Uh, that's going to be uh, 10 more damage. All righty. All, All right. right. So, uh, quick question. Mm hmm. If. I move. I'm grappling. I'm currently grappling Kayleen, mm -hmm. too. So if I run down, is he going to get an opportunity or attack opportunity on both of us? Would I need to disengage? Or you can, what? You can, I'll say you can drop the gaff. Just, it's like handling an object, so you can just drop the gaff. No, I'm going to keep on grappling him because oh, I, I, I have a climb speed. Kayleen does not have a climb speed. I see. So uh, will I'll Kayleen say need to disengage, or would I need to disengage? I will we say that you will disengage. Kayleen does not. Because I'll say it's like forced movement. Somebody forces you to move, they don't get an opportunity attack. But if they have an opportunity against you, it won't against Kayleen. Okay. Also, it would only have one reaction. So. True. Even though it has four arms. Right. I mean, we all have four arms. Oh, no, it has two legs and four arms, six total limbs. 
so I'm oh, sorry, it's not. I was I was thinking it's your turn there. I was confused. Rain, it's your turn. Uh, I'm a hundred feet away. I have a bow, which I assume will do nothing to it. Um, so I will spend my turn jumping down off my guard shack. I will climb if it is high enough up that I feel like I would take damage, and I will begin to head towards the bottom of the cliff-ish area. Okay. Um, you're trying to do it quickly. If you can jump down, it's a very easy acrobatic check to land without taking damage. Sure. We'll say DC 8. I've been rolling so hot tonight. Hey. So yeah, uh, dash action. Actually, dash and tabaxi movement. Um, yeah. So if I dash, I get 70. And then if I use my tabaxi shit. Does that double the 70 or does that just double the... It doubles. It doubles all of the movement that you move that turn. Yeah. So it would double the seventy. So it gives you to one hundred and forty, and you have climb speed, right? Yeah. Yeah. So with feeling agility, you can actually get. Up, I think you get up like to their level this turn. Well, uh, there, and you're climbing down, right? I am currently attack, or we are currently on a ledge, but yes. But yeah, the end goal is to be back on ground level in the city side, right? Yes, I am going, on my turn, I'm going to dash and try to get on the ground. Okay, well, Rain is just going to get to the bottom of the cliff and get his sword out. And in my turn. Okay. All right, uh, Mandred, it's your turn. All right. How f am I? From Kayleen. Uh, we're gonna say you're about 150 feet tall, like 100 feet ver horizontal and 50 feet vertical. So there's no way. Even if I dashed my 30 feet, you'd still you could be you can get to the base of the cliff. You can get most of the way up the cliff. You'd be about 20 feet below them. And he's attacking her right now. Yes, actually, no, I'll say that you can get, if you dash because of, of angles, I'll say you can get, like, within melee if you dash. Okay. Um, all right, then I'm going to do that. I'm going to get within melee. All right. Let me just find it. I don't have. I'm going to release my divine energy. My eyes glimmer and two luminous and wings sprout from my back. It only lasts for one minute. Okay, that's ten rounds, so that's plenty of time. Yeah. All right. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run... Full speed. I'm gonna dash full speed. Uh, calculate in my head when the best time to, uh, you know, uh, jump up in the air is and start angling for them. And, okay. Uh, so you climb up next to the gargoyle. Sword and and shield um, drawn. As I start going up, the looking for gargoyles. Are there any other gar gargoyles? Um, you know, coming towards us. You do not see any. I do want to point out, actually, this Radiant Soul is an action, so you can't dash, so you actually won't be in melee. Okay. Um, all right, so it'll have to wait until next turn. Right. I so you're still you're up, you're up in the air. You're about 50 feet away. Oh, um, okay. So, but yeah, uh, I didn't realize there. that. Yeah, still, still, what I'm gonna do. So then, I'm gonna take you know an extra um, a bit of time to not an extra bit of time, but I'm gonna take extra care to look around and because if 
instead of attacking, I would probably next round focus more on getting, trying to get her away and, and running, uh, not running, but fleeing if um, the gargoyles are all, you know, coming. Um, okay. You only yeah. see the one, you only see the one gargoyle. Okay. All right. So. It's old school Chris. It is. He is a friend of mine. Who is... Uh, Who's old school Chris? It, it's a, he just said that, man. What? I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, he's a... Old school, he's a friend of mine who's joined the... He's in the channel. He joins the list, and I just gave him the Twitch chat so he can listen to the watch there. Uh, he was actually the DM that first DM my first D and D game several years ago. Oh, cool! Thanks for thanks for delivering to us who the the one we now know is Ken. Jerk Ken. Weird way of saying that. Uh, the matter starts. Kayleen, you're being the getting the shit kicked out of you while you're being carried on the back of a giant ape. Good yeah, thing. yeah, this is fun. This is good stuff. Um, I, I feel like I got nothing I can do except for fucking stab at this guy with my rapier because fucking why not? I'm sure okay. they're super impervious to your stabbies. Oh, I'm sure that they are. But, I mean, you know, uh, I'm getting the shit kicked out of me and I, I really don't have many options right now. So, um, I will... technically, Theron is within five feet of him, right? You'd get a sneak attack if you hit. Okay. I do want to find out you could take the dodge action and try to avoid getting hit in the future. Oh, you know what? That is... Well, I could do that as a bonus action, You, you are a rogue. You could do that. That is true. Oh, yeah, okay. So, yeah, I'll, I'll fucking stab at him and then dodge as a bonus. So, I don't get advantage, though. You don't have advantage. Because so, I'm not hidden. Yeah. You're not hidden. In fact, you're sitting on the top of a... Oh, of a yeah. Game. All right. Oh, yeah. Snap it too slow. And then oh. dodge action as a bonus. Okay. You chip off a tiny little pebble off its body. She still smiles. That's that's good enough for her. Karen. Karen is looking. She's reading her book. Sounds about right. Yep. And. You do know Eldritch Blast is 120 feet range, right? <laughs> she can get close. To, she could like move normal speed and still hit it. Yeah, yeah. But would Karen do that? I know, right? Yeah, would she? Would she actually give a shit? <laughs> She'd look up her roll for point giving at it. A shit. Mm. Roll for Karen. She has nothing that would be useful. I caught that hunter. I'll how far away is uh is the gargoyle from Karen? If she if she move if she moved thirty feet, it'd be one hundred twenty feet away. One hundred twenty feet away. I'll just blast. Okay. Burst the wall next to it. Does not do anything to it. All yeah, right. Rain is Fair. uncomfortable with the amount of pebbles showering down upon him. All right. Uh. So I've been wondering this. Um. I don't have an appropriate image. Been looking for one for the past five minutes, haven't been able to find one. But so everybody else didn't really see what ha see me shift into an ape. Do they realize that it's me carrying Kayleen, or did they just notice an ape uh, climbing down a cliff carrying Kayleen while they're being attacked by a gargoyle? No one they've, cares. They've, I think they've seen you shift enough that they assume that if it's someone running away from the gargoyle that's an ape and carrying a party member is probably Theron. Okay. Not to mention, I, Kaleen is pretty like calm in your arms right now. Like, besides the fact that there's a giant gorgoyle fucking punching her to death. All right, I'm just straight up dashing, um, trying to get down to the ground. I think you said we were 50 feet up. Yes. All right, so I'm dashing 50 feet down, and 10 feet. I'm trying to find somewhere appropriate to hide. Okay, unfortunately, 10 feet hiding of the ground. Hiding is an action, and you have to dash to get down, right? Yeah, I know. I'm not actually doing it, but I'm trying to find an area to hide. Like, if there's a, if there is a like, a giant bush or fern or something, and I'm running, I'm using the ten feet of movement towards the ground, running towards that. Gotcha. Okay. 
so in that case, uh, if you were down, you would give you a chance to make a stealth check next time if you like. You're still holding on to Kayleen? Yep. For now, um, if she wants to get out, I'll let her, but right now I'm just running down. Gotcha. I guess I can let go once I get down to the ground. You could. Do you? Sure. I'll let go once I get down to the ground. Yeah, okay. that's fine. Kayleen, you are free of the ape. The gargoyle is, does not give two shits about the paladin in its face, and it's going to dive down towards the person who dared to climb down from the top of the cliff. So you do get attack of opportunity there, uh, Mandred, if you like. And uh, Oh, it, it oh I'm not up there, though, yet, right? I'm not up there yet. Oh, you're right. You're not. Never mind. I'm sorry. I lied. Darren, what was that? Yeah. It, um, it did get an attack, or it should have got an attack of opportunity on me or killing one of the two. Gotcha. That's true. Should I be got top over there? I don't know. Like, is it within melee range-ish of me? Did you climb down near me, uh, Theron? I climbed straight down. I don't know where we're at. <laughs> and you're on the, and you're clinging, you were like on the cliff, right? We were on a small path about 50 feet up from the ground. Right, and but right. how far, how, I how was, far rank? I was directly at the bottom of the cliff, like straight below them. Gotcha. So they're actually like standing, they come down kind of close to you and the gargoyle lands like in between. Sure. I'll, I'll be like, whoops, sorry. There you go. Yeah, the gargoyle's like right there. So there's... Th actually, okay. no, it's not going to land. It's going to keep flying. It's going to hover like five feet above you guys. Uh, because it's going to let's see, it's going to get attack on the monkey. It's going to hit the monkey. The monkey takes nine damage. Okay, no more temporary HP. No more temporary HP. Uh, however, its main attacks are going to continue going for Kayleen. Mm -hmm. Um, quick question Would I have gotten those nine temporary HP back after the short rest? Normally, no, yes, but I didn't remember to cast it, so no. Okay. <laughs> All right, so let's see here. Claw, claw. Uh, AC's under 17, right? Yeah, but it's a, they're all a disadvantage, correct? Oh, yes, because I took the, the Yeah, I took the dodge action. Okay, so only one hits then. Uh, oh, boy. What, well, I'm sorry, what's your AC? 15. Both still hit. Uh, Damn it. Uh, 14 damage. All right, I am down. You're down? Okay. So it is going to pick you up and is going to fly towards... Uh, what's gonna, uh, nobody else has really attacked it yet. Does it have you guys? I mean, somebody shot an Eldritch Blast, but it didn't hit. Yeah, I was uh, the yeah. only one that actually attacked and hit it. <laughs> yep. So it is going to pick her up and it is going to start flying away, but it doesn't really get anywhere. It's used all the Hold on a second. Can you grapple as an opportunity attack? No. It's its, it's turn. Yeah, I mean, I'm within five feet of it. Oh, I see. Yeah. Well, that thing is not moving. It would try, it's going to, it's like, I'm, it's starting to move, but it's out of move. It's not going. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Uh, rain. Okay, team. Should I do something kind of dumb? I'm up next, and I'm going to get up to it next. And then if I do, if I'm unable to attack it, once it starts moving, I'm going to hit it with my longsword. So uh, think about how dumb you want to get as opposed to me with wings doing something probably not as dumb because I have wings. Okay, I'll be super dumb then. Okay, good. Ken, tell me if this is possible. I would like to stow my longsword and then kind of using the cliff that we're next to, get a few steps up the cliff and jump and yeah. grapple onto the flying gargoyle. Yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, that, that's absolutely possible. It's, that's a, basically just a grapple. Uh, okay. It is an athletics check versus this athletics or acrobatics. I'm sure it's totally not strong at all. I assume you're raging, so you have advantage on strength checks? Yes, I am. I thought so. All right, so stow sword, rage, kick flip, off the cliff onto the gargoyle. Nice. Good job, Barbarian. <laughs> it you are by you far. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. I was just going to say, you are by far the best Barbarian I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's pretty awesome. Uh, I don't know if you were here for the uh, hit dice conversation. 
Uh, did you hear that, or were you, did you step away at the time? Uh, refresh me. I was. I've uh, decided to institute the hit dice option we were talking about with inspiration, where you oh, can. Yeah, this, this is a good. This is oh. good use. Sorry. Well, hold on. It, he has to do it beforehand. He already had advantage. So you can't give yourself double advantage. If you have insp- a regular inspiration, I will let you burn it to roll it one more time. I don't. You don't? Okay. You want to know something you... super awesome? What's that? Uh, I was only raging to get advantage on that because I'm not attacking it this turn. If it doesn't attack me on its next turn, I also waste a rage. Yep, so I, I roar madly. I jump on the cliff and then nothing. Yep. So you go and you jump. You try. You like do a running. You run up the wall and you do like a cool Bruce Lee style backflip onto onto this thing's back, and it's just its wings just shrug you off, and you land poof, on the ground. You don't take any damage. You only fell like ten feet, but it's uh, it's embarrassing. You know that gif of the cat that's sneaking up on the bird, and the bird flies away, and then the cat just gives up on life. Rain does that. I, I actually no. I, Oh boy, we're going to end our session tonight with Colleen being dropped in lava. Nah. See, I'm picturing this. Um, who's up? Mandred, you're up. All right, so last turn, I um, used my action wings and run as far as I could towards it. This turn, I would like to, excuse me, either dash and um, get to it, to them, or um, if possible, fly, run 30 you can get, feet. You, 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 can get, you can get up to him with your movement. With my movement and then attack? Yes. All right, and that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Um. Yep. Yeah, that video made me very happy. <laughs> I'm just going to have the song in my head all night now. <laughs> I'm going to yell, unhand her foul beast. 14 hit. Uh, 14 does not hit. Sheet. Kayleen, I would like a death save, please. Yep, yep, let's do it. Can't do any worse than I'm currently doing. Hey, that's a pass at least. All right, we did. So uh, just to confirm, we did. I don't know if Kayleen has this been in the conversations. We did say we're not doing meat grinder rules, right? What was that? Where you get a, yeah. get a 15 on the death saves, not a 10? Oh. I uh, thought we were just doing 10. Just 10. Okay. That's what I thought. It's an option in Tomb of Annihilation. It's meant to be a very deadly campaign. Uh, by the way, in case you guys are wondering, this is a CR10 creature you're fighting. I wasn't oh, wondering. Fine. Oh, so we need to get out of here. We need to get there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like we're, we stand no fucking chance against this. Dude. Yeah, okay. Alright, so we need to get it focused on somebody else. We need to get it focused on me or somebody else Actually, and then get her out of here. So I mean... <sighs> I almost, I almost feel like I have to say this out of character. You guys don't know Colleen that well. It's okay if you guys let her die. <laughs> like y'all, because I'm pretty sure if he kills Colleen, he'll just be like, oh, "Okay, I'm done," and fucking go back and turn into a statue again. And you guys will all be safe. Just keep that in mind. Theron, uh, he is uh, beating up your your new monkey girlfriend. Okay, how does a contested grapple work? Uh, you could try and it'd basically just be his. If you try and take it away, it'll be your strength versus its strength. It'll just be like a contested thing. Oh my god! If they get even, do I get ripped in half? No, they're not that yeah. strong. Unless they like both roll crits. Okay. Then maybe. All right. So, quick question: I have a, I have athletics. Tyler. All right, so my eight peer, my eight form here has mm-hmm. athletics plus five. Right. 
would that mean I would roll plus five, or would that mean I'd get strength plus that? It's your, or would it, I get you, six? Roll, roll it off. No, roll it off of your ape sheet. You have your ape physical stats. Okay, I'm going to try and grapple Kayleen away. Okay, if you have plus five, you're actually one about. You have a one plus one to compare to the gargoyle. Gargoyle has a plus four. So you're in good shape. Oh God, it's not good. On your strength, I'm an ape. Yep. Oh, your ape. Yeah. Now you can you have on your sheet on your ape sheet if you click on athletics it'll roll it for you like normal. Well, I wish I had. <laughs> uh, I especially, especially, especially since it rolled a, tw- uh, a nat twenty. So. Uh, oh, crap. Okay. Well, I'm going to try and pull killing away and fail miserably. Yep. That's about all I can do. All right. Gargoyle gives none of you guys have done any damage to it whatsoever. Uh, so it does not give a shit about you guys. It is going to fly away. You can all get attack of opportunities if you like. Yes. Can I grapple as an attack of opportunity? You can. Hey, can uh, or can't? Can, yes. You guys, I'm pretty sure that no matter what attacks you do, he's not going to drop me. Somebody might want to get my pack so that you guys still have a map, because if he drops me in the lava, you lose yet another map. That's and, uh, that's metagaming, and I won't allow it. I'm Somebody sorry. Get the- Fucking map. Somebody get the fucking map. <laughs> right. I just thought I would. I just thought I would put it out there that I have Somebody been the holder the of the map this whole time. I'm trying to grab Kaylee again. Okay. So that. So let's see. That's an opportunity attack on two. So uh, what are you, Rain and uh, Mandrid? What are you guys doing for your opportunity attacks? I would like to uh, grapple his foot. Okay. Give me an athletics check. Sure. And Mandrid. I'm going to try to grab Kayleen, because I could fly away with her. Okay. You give me an athletics check as well. 22 is nice. 22 is also nice. All right. So against uh, Theron, fail. So Theron, you've grappled it. And Rain, you've grappled it. So the two of you managed to hold it down. I will say you managed to pull it down to the ground, actually. Um. Hell, I'll say it's prone. You guys, it goes to fly away, and you guys just pancake it down to the ground. I won't be a jerk and make it crush Kayleen for a failed death save. Um, Top kick. And then... Because uh, it's that way because man because Mandred managed to pull her away. So you guys all okay. managed to, to beat its strength that time. And then, as I'm pulling it away, can we just say that I... Oh, are we going to wait until we go around again? I mean, now that I have her, can I just... Oh, I guess we'll have to wait until it's my turn again. That's correct. You're, you cannot move on a reaction unless you have some special ability that I don't know of. Oh, I might have a... Uh, it's not my turn yet. Never mind. Oh, it's my turn in... Yeah, it's your turn in a moment. Yeah. All right. Rain, you have a prone gargoyle in front of you. I would like to continue to do my best to keep it from uh, grabbing her and flying away. So, athletics check? To try and like, pin an arm or wing or whatever I can get to. I'm just. So you're trying to pin it to the ground? Yeah, I'm just angry cat wrestling right now. Okay. Um, yeah, if you, so you. Well, you, it's currently grappled. I mean, you have it grappled, so it can't move until it breaks grapple. So you already have it like that. Okay, then I claw its fucking eyes. Okay. <laughs> you can't interact with one app. I mean, you can interact. If you want to use your resume, you can use I mean, I have. I have cat's claws. Can I actively scratch it while... I mean, I miss anyway, but... You miss anyways, yeah. I was saying, you could definitely... I didn't know what the damage was to it. You could draw your sword as a free action if you wanted to, but you missed anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, I rolled max damage, though. You rolled, you rolled max damage. It was well done. It would it would matter if you hit. Uh, Mandrid, it's your turn. All right. I am going to... How far up am I? Uh, you're like 10 feet up. All right, I am going to fly um, 30 feet. I'm going to fly 10 feet. Uh, I'm going to fly 25 feet away. I'm going to fly as far away from as it is. Start running uh, 30 feet away. Um, okay. with her in my arms, so getting about 60 feet away and, you know, without dashing, 
Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to lay on hands her while she's in my arms for 20, for 20 health. Okay. Kayleen, you have 20 Yay. health. You also have, I'm gonna, you have one level of exhaustion. Oh, really? uh, can I cure that with lay on hands? Actually, I think lay on hands does cure that. So yes. With that many hit points, you would, with that many hit points given, you would cure that. Yeah, I, I don't, I was, last session, last campaign, I did it where you had, you, we rolled on the permanent injury table. Uh, that's a little too rough for this campaign, so I just give levels of exhaustion whenever you're conscious. Because if anything, I could just do, like, I could when you did lay on, back. When you did lay on hands, that got, that washed away the exhaustion. Okay. Yeah, because like, hmm? sorry. Yeah, it's, it's like the, uh, because it like cures disease and all that, so I'll just I'll just say it, same thing. It wipes away the exhaustion. If anything, I could just cure her like fifteen HP and use five to cure a level of exhaustion. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's that's how I do. So you have fifteen hit points then, Kayleen. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. And you, and you are not exhausted. So last thing you knew, you were on the back of an ape, and then you were uh, now you're on the back of the paladin. Oh, uh, what? Uh, oh, God. Pain. All the pain. Everywhere. I don't know if there's any action you wish to take, but it's your turn. Oh, it is my turn. Is um, my turn. okay. Uh, are we near anything uh, that I could hide in? Uh, I mean, there's... I'm going to say we keep running. I'm going to, like, whisper to you. I'm like, I think we should keep moving um, further away. We're only, you know, 60 feet away right now. I think we keep moving for a while. Um, uh, okay, yeah, uh, keep moving. That's fine. But uh, if I can find a place to hide, then maybe he'll think that he killed me. I don't think he's that dumb. He's literally a stone monster. I don't think that they have intelligence. I mean, that is just an assumption, of course. Well, Kayleen, it's your action. Uh, you, you do, do still have you your bow. Want, yeah. Yeah, I do still have my bow. Oh god! All right, fuck it. I'll 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 just take it out and I'll shoot his stupid fucking face. I mean, you don't have to do what I'm hinting you, telling you to. No. I'm just telling you. I'm just reminding you. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. You know what? That's probably dumb. I don't want to keep fucking antagonizing him. Oh, plus he's prone. So no, fuck that. Um. I'm going to uh, tell Mandred to at least drop me because I can move now. So Yeah, I'll set you down on your feet. Yeah, so I will I will action dash away 60 feet and then fucking find some shit for cover and try and hide. Okay, give me a stealth check. There's plenty of things around to try and hide behind no matter how successful you are. Oh, yeah. All right. Yep, you disappear. You disappear into a bush. Karen, Karen would like to heal you. Well, no, she wouldn't like to, but she would. But she can't see you now because you're hidden so well. Mandred, Mandred, you're muted. Sorry, I muted myself. Yeah, I'm. A, um, is it? I don't know how it works. Can can People like if if she wanted to hide, could she hide herself from people from certain people and not others, or do do they effectively go hidden from everybody? Um, at the there aren't really set ways for it to work. The way I I've always ruled it is that if you're hidden, you're hidden. Uh, you just have to beat the people's yeah. passive perception. So. Karen has decent passive perception, but he's, Kayleen rolled a 27. So unless she actively looks, which is an action, she's not going to find her. Gotcha. Um, let me just look through Karen's spells really quick. She's going to see if there's anything. All right. Um... Can Karen create the illusion of Kayleen, of a full-bodied Kayleen? Uh, yeah, within five foot cube. How tall are you, Kayleen? 
let me check what I wrote. I think I wrote five six. Hang on, let me see. Oh, I didn't write it. Yeah, but she's like in my head, she's like five five, five six. Five 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 six. So it would be a smaller, a little bit smaller version. Yeah, you can make a smaller version of Kayleen. All right, so she's going to, but it has to be within 30 feet. Yes. Does it have to stay within 30 feet? All right, so the plan is if they can keep the gargoyle pinned down, how far are we, how far are we away from the fire pits? From I mean, the you're, you're, a long, you're a long ways away. Oh. Uh, so Karen has the idea to create an illusion of Kayleen and have Mandra drop the illusion into the f- lava, but I don't know if it's going to work because the no, gargoyle... You're, you're, yeah, you're, you're a thousand feet. I mean, the, the fire's close enough that you can tell it. You know it's there, but it's not like right over the cliff. Uh, the gargoyle is just going to fly away with, with her and you know, try and drop her in there. Yeah. Um, is there still fire here? No, no, I just forgot to take it off the map. Um, who goes next? Theron. Karen's gonna say, Theron, make some fire. And Karen's gonna make a, an illusion of, of, uh, Kayleen next to Mandred, or not far away from where Mandred is standing. Okay, and, uh, before you do that, I don't want to shift out because the thing attacked uh, Kayleen when he climbed when we climbed down. If I shipped out, it, it saw me climb down too, but it doesn't know I'm a person. And he can't cast an animal form. Yeah. All right. Well, then Karen's not going to do anything, and so, I mean, you're yeah. on your own. And you're on your own. That's that's a good Karen, idea, but Karen I don't want to. Karen, Karen skips a turn. You're okay. up. Very good, uh, Theron. Um, you know the thing that monkeys do, where they like put their hands over their head when they're running away. Yep. That's what I'm doing. Okay. Uh, you can do that. Uh, you granted and previously. Then I'm going to hide in the bush. Okay, give me a stealth check. And I still have a uh, pass without trace on. So you do. So that's 24. So you easily hide uh, from the creature. All right. Gargoyle. Uh, Rain, are you still holding on to this gargoyle? Unless you tell me I can let go outside of my turn. I believe the grapple, you can break the grapple whenever you... You can, you can release the grapple. Well, yeah. then once everyone else pisses off, I'm not going to just continue to hold it. <laughs> All right. In that case, I... Th- mm, doesn't really give a shit. You, again, you guys have annoyed it, but you haven't hurt it. And yeah, it does have I, a mission. I've never actually done damage to it. You have not. Um, so it is going to go... It is going to wing over, fly over towards... The illusion. Uh, but you didn't cast the illusion, did you? No. Oh, never mind. Hmm. That is interesting. Doesn't have any instructions. You guys didn't go f- climb the thing. The ape doesn't matter because it's an ape. I think at this point it would probably just fly back up to the top. Do you guys have any... Uh, Rain, are you going to attack it as it flies away? Nope. Okay. It'll fly back up and take back up its perch. A rope dangling from its wrist. I am amazed I did not get a kill out of that. The fact, oh, that, the fact that none of you except Kayleen hit it is amazing. That was fucking terrifying, guys. I really thought I was going into lava. You know, I actually, for a second... I I wasn't gonna bring it to Ken's attention, but I'm like, he's wrong, he's wrong. I hit it, I hit it, I hit it. Should I tell him? Should I tell him? And then I realized, no, actually, I didn't hit it. I missed. It. <laughs> I missed you it. got a couple of guys swung at it, but you couldn't do it. You didn't do any yeah. damage. Yeah, 
I didn't think that you would actually let us that that he would let us go um just because we didn't hit it. We didn't hit him. But then I realized we actually didn't hit him except for Kayleen and that makes more sense. Yeah. Well, I'm proud of all of you. Yeah. All right, you're gonna get a good chunk of that XP from that encounter. You didn't kill no. it, but you you defeated oh, it. Oh, we should get all of it, Kennifer. Come on. Yeah. And don't get mad at me for calling you Kennifer. I call all of my friends Enifer. No, you know you did you did a really good job there. I will give you all. That was a ten, that was a CR ten encounter, and none of you died. So that's that's a that is a that is, that is worthy, cheap. That is worthy a, of XP. That's a lot of XP too. A lot except, of XP. For, except for Karen, she shouldn't get any. And she's still fighting Eldritch Blast. And didn't do anything, but she got, she did something. She got the participation trophy. Yeah, she did. You guys are the VI uh, or ah uh, fucking goddamn MVPs though for fucking saving the shit out of Khalid. Like y'all did a really good job, especially fucking Rain and uh. And Theron pulling him down and knocking him prone while Mandra just like snatched her up like a football and ran the fuck away. It was great. Theron Theron going into monkey form was ingenious. Yeah, it really was. <laughs> that was fucking because you could have chosen a spider and you I technically would have been faster, but that whole thing would have went way different. You know yeah. what? Mm-hmm. I forgot about the spider. Yeah. I'm glad Actually, you did. Oh, best oh the reason bro. why I didn't do it is because it doesn't have a climb speed. Spider? Oh, that's right. Because the only spider, no, because the certain spider that he can turn into right now mm. doesn't have a climb Could, speed. I, he needs a specific kind. Wait, yes, my... it does. Oh, it does. Yes, oh, I okay. wanted to turn into the ape, anyways. Oh, that's fine. It worked out for the better. I keep thinking you're a moon druid because my last character was a moon druid. So every time you're like, "Oh, I could turn into blah," I'm, I keep wanting to be like, "No, you idiot! Do the thing. Be a whatever." But you're the healer. Yeah, yeah. Moon, druids. moon druids are fantastic and they're broken and awesome, but you know, whatever. I really wanted to play this uh the summoner druid. I really like the uh the um whatever they are, the uh totems. Yeah. All right. So this is usually where we stop. I'm good for going another hour, so if you guys need to, it's up to you guys if you want to continue or not. No work tomorrow. Come on, boys. I can continue, but I need a five-minute break. Anybody? I mean, yeah. I understand. If <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can continue, but yeah, I'd like to. I'd like a break just to get a snack real quick. Yeah, I mean, I have to work tomorrow, but not till eight o'clock. So I'm fine. Oh, it's, it's early. It's well, no, it's early for me because I'm on the west coast, so it's fine. No, I understand. Um, Tyler, well, no, I'm, saying, I'm, I'm not tired. I'm fine. No, I said uh, Tyler. Is it too late for you, man? I know it's usually. Uh, it's been not here. Um, too late. We but won't, uh, we won't judge you, for man. a little while longer. You sure? Yeah. Don't don't give in to the peer pressure, man. If it's, it's cool. too late, you, if it's too late, it's too late, brother. You was the it's MVP cool. of the last fight. You can you can uh, dust it off here, man. Nah, that's yeah. fine. Go for another hour. All right, awesome. I'm getting a snack. Sweet. Uh, and actually, real quick, what's your guys' uh, current XP? Forty nine hundred. Yeah, forty nine hundred. Forty nine hundred. And what do you guys got to get to to uh, level up? Five. All right, you're at six. You're at six six eight zero. So, yay! Yes, level going, five, baby. You're going to give yourselves a couple minutes to level up. You don't get all max hit points, but you can add whatever you get for the new level. You can add to your current HP. And is it like video game leveling up? Other than HP, like, uh, or no. So, like, if I get a new spell slot, do I get that spell slot? Yes, you'll get anything you get, you get, but you don't refresh anything you've lost. Copy. So I, so I don't get all my spell slots, spell slots. I just get one new spell slot. Right, if you get it with your new level. Okay. Yep, just add stuff to your sheet. Don't change none. Right. All right, but I do get an extra attack, so it's better beware. All right. So five minute break, get your siege level up, get your snacks, and we'll be back in five minutes. Awesome. Cool. I'm excited, gentlemen. I should summon things now. I get fast movement. 
My moose oh, you can summon stuff? What can you summon? Show me, show me. Do it. My move speed is 45 now. What? Plus I have tabaxi movement. So I can move 90 feet on a turn. Oh, that's nice. awesome. I will still not hit anything once I get there. But... I can send them lots of stuff. My sneak attack is 3d6 now. That's all I got. That's it. Oh, wait, no, wait. I get fucking uncanny dodge now, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's such a good ability. Uncanny so dodge is that. nice. Yeah, that is it. Awesome. <laughs> it would have fucking saved my ass this last time. This last fucking fight right there. Oh, well, it's cool. All right, I'll be right back. I'm going to make some popcorn. I'll be yeah, to take my headphones off to figure all that shit out. Let's go outside and smoke a cigarette. I'll be back. I am pretty happy I finally got to use uh, Wild Shape and be useful with it. I have not got to do any of that all campaign. Except for what, the second session, I think. Hey, can you hear? I'm here. No one ever asked if I'm here. Well. Well. Fuck not the conjure animals. <laughs> You're not the gatekeeper for my conjure animals. What? I was going to ask, uh, did we ever decide what we were doing with conjure animals? Oh, I'm rolling on the fucking... I have. I made uh, macros in my other campaign. I'll just open up the other campaign and okay. roll on it. I, I, what I will do is I will give you one animal you can choose where you can always summon that animal successfully. So, like, my other druid and the first game, campaign I had, she played it. Before I realized how it was supposed to work, she had affinity for bears, so she always summoned bears, and she always turned into a bear. So whenever she wanted bears, she could have bears. If she wanted anything else, she had to roll on the table. Um, so if there's an animal you want to have at your convenience, you can have that animal. Let me think about it. Okay. I haven't really done much shape shifting at all, and I don't want spiders. Okay. Or apes. Yeah. So anything, anything you've worked into your backstory, like that you have a special affinity for that particular beast. I don't get that joke, Rain. Um, you can have that creature. All right. Alrighty. Waiting on everybody to get back. Biggity backity back. Backity biggity bick. Biggity back. Biggity bick. I have the hiccups. Hooray. Thank you.
There are three people other than me watching the stream right now. Hello, other people. And I know one's Mary. And I assume the other is Chris. Electrical Skateboard is a follow for follow bot, so don't count him. Oh, okay. So there's just the two people then. Yeah. We had quite a crowd in here on our, our last game. Really? I think we were up to five or seven people at one point. Five people talking, seven people sitting in the chat. Not counting bots and stuff. All right, I'm back. Interesting. I find it very interesting that people will want to watch us play D&D, but we're not really playing to the crowd at all. I mean, I know Mary has no life, but I assume other people have a life. Uh, I never know. People just like D&D. Now that we're not directly competing with uh, Critical Role's time slot, more people are prone to wandering in. Yeah, maybe. I forgot to check how many rages I have now. Oh, is there a way to make the rolls a little bit quicker uh, for conjure animals? Because I'm probably going to be using it a lot. <laughs> I'll just have to put them into... It's, until we use it a few times, it's going to take some time. It's just the way it is. It's a, it's a complicated spell. But you do what you, you do, you boo. I'll take care of it. Well, it's the, uh, it's, I'm the conjuring subclass, so. I know. That's, that's the role you have. I'll, uh, we'll have to work it. I'm sure there's some way of doing it, e like doing it easily. I have not figured it out. I just had to build my own tables. I'll just, well, I'll, I'll have to build them in here again. What I was planning on doing is just doing, like, I'm going to summon eight wolves. Um, just roll 8d, 8d20 plus whatever. But I'm sure there's an easier way of doing it. Yeah, like in roll twenty, you can make a table, so you can roll on, it and it'll tell you. Um, and I've I built it in a previous campaign. I was going to use that same one, but I have to rebuild it in this campaign. Me? Now we can, yes. Um, um, that is not a real spell. It's just it's just conjure animals, but for a modern campaign. But no, find vehicle. That's not a real spell, right? No, it's conjure. It's just conjure. It's conjure mount. Uh, but built you know, somebody reskinned it for a modern style campaign, but it's not. A real spell. That's not fucking real, right? Okay. I'm like, this, what's this bullshit? Yeah, wikis are not. Don't don't trust wikis. These uh these second level paladin spells are bullshit. Fine Steed is amazing. Fine Steed is good. Lesser restoration and magic weapon. Other than that, I got no time for any of this shit. Aid is alright. It's a more well. powerful smite. Fine Steed is is worth. It doesn't matter what else you get to that slot. Yeah, but what is it? What's the what's the fucking what's the duration on this? It doesn't have one. Oh, it doesn't. Yeah, you used it, and you have a mount. Oh, all right. Well, I have a mount now. Does it does it matter what kind of mount it is? Uh, I mean, there's a list of them in the PHB. I think it's like a horse or a donkey or a... If you were a halfling, you could have a dog. Oh, I can't have, like, a war horse? You can uh, have no, a war horse. No, war, war horse, yeah, war horse is one of them. Can I... Will you let me have one? If it's, yeah, if that's what you want to have. Can it fight for me, though? Fight for you? No. Uh, if you... The mount... We'll have to review the mount rules later. At a later time, you can uh, find Steve. You can choose a warhorse, pony, camel, elk, or a mastiff. Of course, as a medium creature, you can't ride a mastiff. But uh, yeah, you have a, you can have a warhorse, absolutely. Where are you reading that from? From from the, the... from the PHP. It's also in roll twenty. If you use the compendium, you can search for the spell. Uh, let me do that. Then.
Paladin spells always confuse me. So it's it's my charisma plus half my level. For what? For how many spells I'm allowed to have prepared. It's my it's my charisma plus my level halved rounded down. Stand by. So, Three. Charisma, charisma plus half. Yeah, so it's your charisma modifier plus two right now. Is how many spells you can have prepared? Oh, so it's one more than I had. But it's well, no, you're at five now. So it's the same as you had before, because it's, you still have the same charisma score. Yeah, and it's five divided by two, which is th- two, because it's rounded down. I've been, I've been fucking with four. I didn't realize. I never bumped up one. I should have been using. All right, I'm an idiot. Well, now I get another spell slot. Yay, me! Well, not spell slot, spell. Uh, Prepare spell yet? Yeah. Oh well, I do have more prepared spells. Though. I mean, I do have more spell slots because right, but not because of, not because of that though. Yeah. So I have some spell slots. I would still like a long rest when we get a chance. I'm sure you would. I, I, I would. You guys going to take a rest in the uh, in the guardhouse? Could we? Uh, I don't want to go back up there. Well, no, you're, you're death down. The guardhouse is at the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. I just. Oh. I just spent all that time uh, working on my spells. I, I need to go to the bathroom. I'll be back in two minutes, and then I'm good to go. Is uh, Kayleen back? Yeah, I've been back. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, two minutes, please, gents. You can start without me if you like. Okay. So, so, yeah, the guardhouse is at the bottom of the hill. It is, like, at the bottom of the stairs there. It's where I came running from. Yep. What'd you get for a snack, Captain? Just some popcorn. Oh man, I'm over here with granola bars like a chump. That sucks, man. I got brownies in there too that I could eat, but I was like, oh, I'd rather be less of a fat shit tonight and just eat popcorn. Yeah, I had my brownie earlier. I had a i I went a little hog wild last week for my birthday, so I am re reestablishing my uh, my calorie control. So I'm not going to snack because I don't have any carrots or anything to munch on. Ooh, that sucks. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah, I mean, I, I had plenty to eat today. I've decided that I'm going to be a fat ass this week because uh, I'm going to be a fat ass tomorrow. So uh, I just accepted it. Yeah, I actually did pretty good. I, even though I didn't, I didn't spend. I ate whatever I wanted. I had some ice cream. I didn't worry about anything. I only put on a pound and a half in the week, so I'm feeling good. There you go, boss. You got it. I got it. Oh shit! I left the freezer open. I guess that means I'm having ice cream. So we all agreed to go take a rest in the guardhouse? Sure. Archer, you are going to go and try and take a rest in the guardhouse. Uh, who is, let's see here. Who keeps watch for you guys? Is it, do you each keep watch or one of you an elf he's towards going to keep a watch? We have an elf, so I take like first watch and then it depends on the night. But somebody takes watch while the elf gets his four hours and then he's up the rest of the night. Got Pretty much. Okay. Let's see. Here. So we'll say that who's going to take the first watch then before the elf starts taking the watch? Mandarin. Mandarin can take first watch and then he can wake me up so that he can doff his armor and go to sleep and I'll watch until Theron wakes up. Okay. So Mandarin takes first two hours, rain is hours three and four, and then four through eight is Theron. Uh, so when Mandarin gets back, he has to give me a perception check. Oh, shit. You can do it. You can do it. Uh, roll 20 is rolling. I mean, is... Bear with me one second, Ken. Sorry. Pick a number between 1 and 20. 17. 
There you go. What's your perception modifier? Uh, probably negative one. Character sheet, core, uh, perception is zero, four. Four? Okay. Over four. I really thought you were going to see these guys approaching, but you don't. So uh, let us roll initial. Let me get over to the other screen. I don't need to draw out a. I forgot to update my journal. Is this during the night? It is during the night. Uh, I will say you guys have a short rest, but you don't have a long rest. So if any as they hit dice they want to roll or something, you can. Yeah, I'm doing that. All right, I'm back up to full. Uh, Theron, did we get temp HP? Yep. I'm sorry, yes, what? No. Yes. And we oh, okay. Yes. Oh, shit, sure, that's right. We do get 10 now. Nice. All right. You're no longer in ape form, so you get regular Theron back. There's a campfire. So, did I pull you guys over? I did. So, everybody put yourselves wherever you are. Uh, Theron, remember that you are on watch, so you can put yourself wherever you need to be for on watch. I uh, know that Mandrid's on Mandrid. watch. A oh, Mandrid. So, Mandrid, you put yeah. yourself. Oh, sorry. Is that the doorway that I'm standing in? Yeah, the, the door is there. So, like, it opens. Okay. Like the the way the door works, it goes like you're you go out this way. So it's like opening through the corner there. Is that the gargoyle? It's not there anymore. Don't worry about that. Um, there's the doorway, right? Yeah, exactly. Thank you. That's better. So, um, realistically, I'd still be. Is there uh, are there windows? There are arrow slits. Where where's the the uh I'd be inside, I wouldn't be outside. Okay. Um where's the um where's the closest arrow slit to this door? I mean they're they're scattered about, so you can there's one within a couple of feet of the door. I'd probably be doing rounds, like walking around inside, you know. Okay. And I guess Very we'll good. Karen inside and Musharib inside. You want to move Musharib inside? Sure. Whatever the fuck his name is. Yep, it's Musharib. All right. <laughs> Tyler, you probably want to update Musharib's hit points because right now it says he has eight. Yeah, he said 30. Oh, and somebody update Karen. Should I update Karen's? Uh, don't worry about it. All right. Good noises, though, fam. Come on. All right. So that was a loud can. <laughs> Weren't it, though? It was just cola. Mandred, you are keep doing your rounds, but you are unable to spot through the darkness the slithering forms that st all of a sudden come through the door. I don't know if you know this, but snakes are not what they seem. What? It's written on the wall. Oh, yes. I remember. Yes, and we would all know about it because we all sat there and discussed it for a minute. <laughs> Okay. The door is shut, though. 
um, and there would have been something like press. Well, the the door was broken. We couldn't have shut or opened it. It's it's just like slightly ajar all the time. Yep, I did say that earlier. Mm -hmm. Do I notice anything at any point? Uh, you notice as they start to walk through the door. So you're right. so you're not surprised because they had, if you were sitting outside you would have been surprised but as they they have to come through the door so you aren't surprised as they do but everybody else has they have a surprise around everybody else. They ain't getting past me though. Uh, so let's see here. Let's all roll initiative. Okay. All right. Oh, that's what I like to see. Colleen, you're my hero. Thank you. Yeah, unfortunately, surprise round, so she doesn't get to act because she's asleep. That's the highest I've ever rolled initiative. Me too. In this character, ever. And see, you know, I, I would be really useful right here because I could, uh, you know throw something under them so they would kill themselves. But it's not happening. Alright, can I you snoring, Zeus? What are you dreaming about? Uh, right now, probably Theron sexy ass for saving her life. <laughs> but do you think you're dreaming of Theron the elf or Theron the ape? <laughs> Ooh, I don't point. know. I'll roll a D, uh, one or two for Both. Theron the elf. Both. No, one or two for Theron the Elf, because the other one's going to be the ape. I'll just roll a d2 for it. Why the fuck not? One is normal, two is ape. All right. She's dreaming about the ape. Dead ape booty doe. He can turn into that ape on command. Oh, she knows. I have nothing. All right, Theron, what are you dreaming about? What are these things? Uh, well, let's see here. On your turn, I'll describe them for you. Well, on their turn, I want to see if Theron has anything he's going to dream about. Theron? Um, all the animals I can now conjure. I don't know, something. Okay. All right. So that was Theron's. Oh, and the auntie here. So this one looks like this. He looks like a human. He's got a human body, but he's got a snake head. Uh, he's gonna come slithering in here. Uh, he sees you there, Mandra. And he is going. He gets to go before me. Yeah, he rolled a twenty-one. I rolled a twenty. Oh, I rolled a twenty. Yeah. Yeah, math. I didn't have the uh, the turn order. Run. He's actually going to cast suggestion on you, uh, Mandred, and he's going to suggest you go stand in the corner. I need to give me a wisdom save. DC is thirteen. Better not stand in Rain's corner. <laughs> You've been a bad boy. Uh, I'm going to use my inspiration. Okay. Roll it again. Nope. All right. You succeed with the inspiration. Remember to use... That's the last mm -hmm. time I get to use inspiration, right? Unless unless you say it in advance when you can use your hit die. Oh, uh, okay. Now, now I understand how this works. Okay. All right. It is your turn. I'm going to say to him, you fucking what, mate? Okay. The rest of you will hear his cry and wake up. So at this point, you are awake. And you can have, you have your turn. It's your turn. Oh, uh, yeah, I know. I'm just looking at my spells real quick. Okay. Uh, let me see if this is a bonus action. Um, And let me just look real quick at my... Uh, have my spell slots because I know I have. Sorry, I just I don't know my spell slots. I'm sorry. Paladin. Spell 
that's my level. It'll take two seconds. Sorry, sorry. Fifth, I get two second level. First level, I used to have three. So for this fight alone, I have two second level and one first level. Okay. We don't get all of your spell slots back. You only get back. You only get the ones you gained for leveling up. You haven't had a long rest yet. No, I know. So, I before we leveled, right? I only had three first level slots. Mm -hmm. So, since we leveled, I have two second level slots and one first level slot. Okay. After we finished a first, uh, after we finish a long rest, I'll have all of my slots back, right? Right. Correct. So. I can burn all of my the rest of my slots, which are two second level slots and one first level slot. Yes. So I'm going to use a bonus action to cast magic weapon. Okay. That's level, which gives me. Um, it's gives a, plus my, a plus one to bonus to the attack and damage rolls yep. of my weapon. I'm I'm just gonna add it, you know, as I use it. Um right. I'm gonna swing my long sword at him. I'm gonna say nobody puts baby in the corner. <laughs> um and I'm also going to uh where is it? Why isn't it up here? Uh, Divine Strike him. Okay, I rolled again because it's uh, you crit. And actually, you rolled you're using a second level slot for that, right? For what? For the Divine Smite? No, I just. Oh, I can use a second level slot if I want to, right? And you used a, you had one first level slot left. Use that for magic weapon. So it'd be a second level slot you have to use. No, for magic wep magic weapon is the second level slot. Oh, okay. So you can use the first or the second level then. It's your choice. Um. Well, I'd have to use a completely different. It would be a completely no. I use the first level slot. Okay. All right. So then it is ten, nineteen, twenty three, and these things aren't fiends, right? No, monstrosities. Okay. And sorry, which one are you attacking? The guy who said that. So the guy, it was this guy, right? It was this guy, yep. All right, minus 23. As you step up, you can see the rest of these things. I'm uh, staying where, I'm, where I am so they can't come in. Okay. Uh, this guy here looks like the first one where he has a snake head and man body. Yeah. Uh, this guy. Make sure I got this right. Yeah, the guy in the bottom right has a human torso and human head, but his lower he doesn't have legs. He has a snake slithering yeah. body. Uh, this guy, the bottom left, has a human head, a human body, and a human legs, but his arms are snakes. His arms are snakes. Yep. I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna. Look Karen, I'm going to be like, wake up, girl. You're going to want to see this freak show. All right. Next one is going to... He doesn't like the fact that you came out here. He's like, you should be afraid of these guys. Uh, so he is going to... He's going to scimitar you, and he's going to try and bite you. Because he can do that. Oh, yeah. That hits. Uh, so the scimitar hits you for seven damage. Uh, the bite... Uh, as he's stunned, he bites your shoulder. Uh, he, t he takes seven piercing, uh, reduced by your armor, heavy armor master, so four and four. So eight piercing damage total. And you take seven poison damage. So a total of uh, 11 damage. Um, That's well, with all your reductions and everything. Yeah, but I'm immune to disease. I'm not immune to poison, right? Not immune to poison. All right, and Rain, you have awakened. 
you're prone. I don't know if you're wearing any armor if you normally wear. a total of what? I'm sorry, Ken. You said four. Eleven. Total of eleven. Rain. Mm -hmm. I was letting him do his math. Okay. Uh, right. I awaken. I am a barbarian and thus do not wear armor. So I scramble for my sword. Um, you said the door is currently between where Mandred and uh, our guide are standing? No, it's the purple box. So Mandred's what? standing right, right. at the door. The actual door itself, though. Uh, yeah, it's basically just, it's hanging kind of open. So like Mand Mushrib is sitting behind the door. Okay. Right. For some reason. All right, I just didn't want to move into a square where I would be standing where the door actually is. Gotcha. Um... Hmm. I'm gonna guess that this asshole has cover around the door frame. So I guess instead I will stay here and shoot longbow through the door at this guy. Okay. That way I'm not trying to like get all in Mandrid's Kool-Aid. Actually, uh, no, this still some covers. I does not hit. All right. Snake arms, dude. Comes forward. I will also begin shouting if the other people are not yet awake. Yeah, the, the, the shouting and the sounds of battle will definitely wake everybody up. Oh, I should have just readied an action and stood next to you. I'm an idiot. Oh, actually, that's wrong. Oh. Sorry, I got it backwards. The bottom left has the, bot has the snake legs. The... Uh... That's right. Never mind. Yeah. Uh, so he's Go just going to try. He's just going to be biting you with his snake arms if he can. Uh, that does not work, however. Uh, this guy will come back here and he will uh, cast suggestion on you, uh, Mandry, because he wants you out of the doorway. And he will tell you again to go stand in the corner. So, wisdom save, DC of 13. Nobody puts baby in the corner. Everybody makes their wisdom saves against me. It's not fair. Karen? It's one of my saving throws. My paladin. Okay. Mandrid, is you or Karen? Oh, Karen. Right. Oh, she leveled, so she should have spells or higher. Right? Don't worry. Don't worry about it. I know, but I like having better spells. What did you say? Nothing. Um, she is going to use Crown of Madness on... Wait, hold on. On this one here. Okay. Wisdom save. And they are resistant to... Yep. All right. The crown forms and then disappears in a poof of smoke. Didn't work. Didn't work. Okay. Uh, Musharib. She curses under her breath. All right. All right. Mushri gets up. He goes and reaches for a weapon, which I guess is going to be um, his maul. He's going to run up to this guy and this one here and bash it with the skull bash. Okay. I missed completely. Yep. All right. Kayleen. Oh boy. Let's see here. Can I see the can I see this guy? Like you can see the one in the center we're kind of reaching through. From where you are now, he'll have cover if you move to the middle of the room. You can shoot him, no problem. Okay, cool. So then she'll move oh, let's see, I can only move half my movement, so five, ten, fifteen. Oh god. You can I'll, you um, can move to the other side of Okay. Alright, then I'm gonna shoot him. Shoot him in the face. 
Okay. No advantage, but I get sneak attack. You do. Boop. Yep. Boop. And boop. All right. And I'm assuming I have nowhere that I can hide in here. No. It's so, hard. yeah, I will take the dodge action uh, for a bonus action. Okay. Um, next time you might want to say gadoosh. That's also acceptable. Instead of boop. I like boop. Oh, whatever your preference is, man. There's no there's no right or wrong answer, response. I per, I personally like gadoosh. Theron, it's your turn. Save us from the sound effects. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm going to get up and look around, figure out what's going on. Run to about right here. And cast Conjure Animals through the door. Yeah, and Daddy. Uh, 8 CR, 1 quarter, I think. All right, one second. Hello, Show Shadow Claws. It's been a long time since I've opened you. Show them who the boss is, Tyler. So it's 8 CR, 1 quarter? Yep. Make it make it snakes too. <laughs> make it like a different type of snake that don't like these types of snakes. Oh, they're pretty good. Make it like rattlesnakes. Well, we'll see what I get. Imagine Ken. Ken's like a dick about it, and he makes it snakes, and then like they like they're have control snakes. over them. Yeah, <laughs> they're friendly to them, so then we have to fight them too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Four. Oh, oh, they're like uh, field mice. <laughs> All right, so let's see here. We have a. Four. We have a blink dog. A blink dog. Yeah. Never go hungry again. Just conjure them all into like a room. Now they disappear as soon as they hit zero hit points. They like poof out of existence. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's stupid. Well, that's what spells like su like summon food and water are all about, you know, because otherwise you could just do shit like this and then just kill whatever fucking comes out. God, I can't believe you're going to make us have eight fucking turns every one of these things. Oh, uh, they're all going on the same initiative. Just, just, uh, it actually says that they have to roll on the same initiative. Yeah, just make it eight of whatever. Don't make it eight individual things. Just make it. Well, eight. the problem with that is that they have, there's sprites in the list, and sprites can cast polymorph. I'm not going to give it that, a one in 20 chance. That's, that's Conjure Fay, isn't it? No, sprites are still part of the summon, uh, the conjure animals thing. There's actually like a really big uh, exploit that you can use if if the DM allows you to conjure eight of the same creature. If you conjure eight sprites, you know, it might, you know, he might be he might be right. I might, I might be have expanded that list. So actually, let's go ahead and delete sprites, and we'll just go yeah. ahead and use we'll use boars for all of them. Conjure animals is just beasts. Conjure yeah. Fae is the one that uh, that also explains why beasts. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. I, I think it was... No, it wasn't Matthew Covell. Somebody else. I watched their video, and they were talking about the uh, the summon fey creatures or whatever, and how you can summon a bunch of uh, pixies and have them polymorph. Yeah, that's why, just, that's why it's important yeah. the DM either chooses or rolls. Oh, yeah. It's fucking ridiculous. All right, so... Yeah, yeah, I will use summons, but I won't do that. That's too cheap. I just wanted to play with the blink dog. No, I like the blink dog too. I was like, wait, I can do, I can summon those things. A few levels. 
You know what happens to you if you uh, get bit by a blink dog with lycanthropy? I don't know, but I want to find out. You become a werewolf. God damn it. We almost made it through an entire session. I hate, I hate you so much, Hunter. He's so satisfied with himself whenever he does it, too. That makes it worse. It makes it so much worse. You can hear it in his voice. It's like he just ate, like, two Thanksgiving meals back well, plus, to back. Like, uh, plus, like, he's always so monotone. <laughs> like, most of the time, he's really monotone. And then, yeah. like, he makes a fucking pun like that, and he gets all giddy, and you can just tell the difference. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Fucking ridiculous, man. You can hear the satisfaction in his voice. Alright, so uh, Theron, the boar, is now an initiative. You have a sheet for the boar in your uh, druid bullshit folder. Uh, Kayleen, you went already. Monty? Oh, okay, it's not my turn. Never mind. That's your turn. Uh, he has his own initiative. It's after Mander. Turn off the DM whispers, because it's whispering to DM. Uh, Yuan T has got Mander there in his face. I think he's going to turn around and he's going to come over and start hacking at these boars. Uh, attack opportunity. You, take, you, get, you take attack opportunity. I was going to give it to you. And so does Musharib, or is he still... No, nah, at, at that angle, it's not going to work for Musharib. Reach All right. Around. I'm going to hit him with my long sword. Obviously, just the first. Sorry. That's okay. Seven hits. And then this guy's going to... I already hit him for a lot last time. You did. Um, how's he looking now? Uh, He's bloodied. You on T's are a bitch, man. Uh, the boar takes... uh. Like... 25 damage, so the first board dies. Okay. Thought I was going to get two with that, but I guess not. All right, for one board dies. All righty. And Mandarin. All right. Uh, let me just look at something really quick. Spells I have. None of those left. I have one of those left. Oh, you know what I realized? Actually, um, so on that, instead of seven, it's supposed to be eight. What? It's supposed to be oh, okay. eight. Because, because magic weapon? Because of magic weapon. So then on the last one, it's the same thing. you got to add one, two, three. So just take away three more HP. Okay, well, magic weapon won't affect the smites. It's just the, we just the weapon attack. Oh, uh, okay. So add but, another one. I'll, I'll take one off and then do your roll this time. Okay. Uh, Rain, I'm going to move up. Will you take my spot? Sure. I'm going to move here. That guy's going to get an attack of opportunity on me, right? Yep. You want to take it now? Yep, I'm working on it. Do what you're going to do. I got gotcha. you. I'm going to keep attacking that, that same guy. All right, do it. Long sword. All right. 12 does hit. Uh, he missed you with his opportunity attack. All right. I have one left. Oh, no, I got to do it at um, second level. So just roll another uh, D8. All right, so nine extra there. I took in the plus one for magic weapon already. Okay. And you get a second attack. 
Oh shit! And the fr- I should be getting set two attacks. You guys, I'll give it. I remember it this time too. So you get it this time. Just let's keep it moving. I forgot all about that. These dudes should be getting spanked around. Eight does not hit. Mine does not hit either. All right. So you take a couple swings. You hit once. You smite him. Uh, he is not happy. In the I, least. Oh man, I should have gotten so many more attacks. All right, I got to start remembering that. Holy crap! All right, all the boars get to go. Have fun, Tyler. Uh, uh three of them. I think that's the minimum that or the max that can fit around this one are gonna attack that one. All right. And I don't know how to turn off Jim Whisper. Okay, I'll take care of it in a second. We can um, go see it. The other five are going to surround this guy since he's the closest. And attack him. That's them. All right. One, two, three, four, five. And one of them is dead. So I think I rolled eight. So ignore one. Yeah, one's dead. So I'll say this guy's Still just the elastic one will count, but that doesn't matter. It missed anyways. <clears throat> so two of them hit that guy. One, two, yeah. Two hit that, so nine damage to that guy. All right. That's it. All righty. This one, he's very annoyed that all these uh, guys are around, but he's, uh, he's not terribly worried about the boars. He's going to come over here. And he is going to tell... Actually, he's not going to go over there. He's going to stand over here again still. He is going to tell Mandra to sleep. Mandra, give me a wisdom save. Uh, what's the DC again? 13. Uh, I'm going to use one of my hit die. Okay. Save advantage. Oh, I didn't need it. I right. <laughs> didn't need it. So you shake off the attempt at a spell. Karen's turn. Mandra, that's you. Oh, sorry. I was trying to actually figure out turn off the GM whisper for Theron because I've had to do that I, before. I, I, I know how to do it. I've already taken care of it. Oh, uh, sorry. Car- uh, Karen goes. Karen goes. That one guy's dead. They killed that that guy. That. Yep. All right. Um, Karen is going to. Um, who's over there? Karen's going to cast Bane on the three remaining uh, baddies over there. Okay, she had to move so she can see them, which is like over there. Yep, sorry. Christmas so, saves. All right. Two of them are Baned. All right, Rain. Draw a great sword. Step forward, uh, for, uh, rage, attack, gent right in front of me. Okay. Reckless or no? Nope, just regular. And okay. having missed that, I will attack again. Same guy. Okay. Same guy. That one hits. All right, so you charge forward, sword swinging, and you slice through... Some of his flesh. That is one of the ones. Uh, uh, that's the guy with two snake arms. There in front of you. Okay. Uh, he's going to use those snake arms to try and bite you twice. Like a with bastard. His, with his creepy snake arms. AC 15. All right. That's two hits. You take 13 piercing, uh, and you 7 and 6, so you, it's halved, right? Yep. 
Okay, so it's uh, six piercing, uh, and it's fifteen poison. Okay. Well, that's a All lot right. of poison. This guy's surrounded by boars. Uh, I don't think they like their odds. I thought they were going to catch you guys a little more unaware. He is going to turn into a snake. And he is going to slither away. All the boars get opportunity attacks, yep. Only one hits. He's going to slither away into the darkness. Musharif gets to go. He's going to bash this guy right in front of him. All right. We're interrupting his sleep. That's a hit. And Colleen. Shooting the guy right in front of Rain. Yay. And uh, opportunity. Sneak. Did uh, actually, it's he would deny would have killed it anyway. So yeah. Uh, would you like to describe just destroying this creature? Uh, yeah, yeah. When it goes to open one of its weird, creepy snake arms to like freaking uh, bite it rain, uh, she shoots it right through the mouth, and the arrow goes through the head of the snake and then into the head of the guy and fucking kills him. Cool. Uh, so yeah, that goes, goes down. Uh, Theron, it is your turn. All right. Uh, I see this guy go down. I'm going to circle around over this way. And uh, Thorn with this guy here, if I can see him through the door. Yeah, he'll have some cover, but you can see him. Okay. So Thorn whip. Somebody's snoring. Okay. Cool again. Thank you. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to skip you so quick. Not so. Miss the boars. <clears throat> These That's boars tough. are going to charge this guy right here. Who was snoring? That wasn't me, was it? I have no idea. Well, before the boars get to go, we'll, we'll do that real quick because I think that man goes up. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh. All right, boars. So who are the boars attacking? I guess the they only have one left. left. Yep. Unless they want to have them go chase down the. Well, Mandrid, Mandrid's supposed to go first. But. I think I. I, I thought you skipped me. No, my cat stepped on my keyboard and advanced the turn order a few times. So I got confused. We'll ignore it then. Well, no, we'll still, we'll still count it all. And then we'll see. Because they're not going to hit it that often. I think he just hit it twice, three times. Oh, a little more often than I thought. 10, 11, 19, All right. The board's bloody it. Uh, we'll go back to Mandrid real quick. Mandrid, it's your turn. All right. Um, where'd that guy go? He slid it off into the underbrush. He I'm turned into to... a little snake. He turned into a well, six foot snake, but yeah, turned into a snake. Okay, that's still a pretty big fucking snake. <laughs> he's a, you see him slipping away. He's over there. That's a, he's over there. Yep. How far away is he? Is that to scale? Yeah, it's a scale. So I, I can get to him. You can get to him. And there's nothing around me to incur an attack of opportunity. Pick his ass, manager. You got it. Gadoosh, gadoosh. All right. Minus 12. Is that 8 hit or no? No, 8 is not hit. Okay. Um, yeah. So, 6. Yeah, so 12 damage. Oh, plus uh, 2. 14. Yeah. All right. Very good. The snake will. Uh, let's see here. Let's just bite me. Yeah. So he's going to try and bite you a couple times. What you can do is he's in snake form. 
Uh, he'll hit you once for four piercing. That's minus your heavy armor master. So four piercing, seven uh, poison, total of 11 damage. <clears throat> but that's okay. So it's that's 11. Not, that's 11 total. Okay. All right. Not... I've already done the math. It's 11. 11, it's 11 total. Okay. All right. Oh, actually, you know what? I apologize. That was actually the wrong person. So do you take those 11 hit points back? Um, mm -hmm. This is actually the one next to Rain. So Rain, you take... Uh, you have the 7, so it's 3 piercing, 7... So you take 10 total damage. Wait, why does he get less than I do? Because he halves his physical damage. You just have a minus 3 yeah. to you. So if you're armor master, it doesn't have the damage. Yeah. Just a different modifier. What what does he have? He's got rage. He gets half all physical damage, and it was seven. Seven minus I'll... three for him and master is four. Half is three and a half, rounded down is three. I I want that. Well, you'd be a barbarian. Uh anyways, Karen's I... turn. I want that. Okay, Karen is going to Shoot an Eldritch Blast at the remaining snake. Okay. Um, she can reach the one, actually, that Manjit is fighting, correct? Yes, either one. Just, uh, yeah, she'll shoot the one that's trying to get away. If she can get her spells to come up, it won't load. Oh, there it is. Sorry, this is... I don't know if this is all. There we go. Okay. Ten hit? Nope, it's not hit. So all blast right. the dirt at your feet. And at right. her feet or at his feet? And you shot at the one by you. So like, it's, it's, the snake don't have feet. At tail. Okay. It, it blasts the dirt between you and the snake because it misses. All right. All right. Rain swings his great sword to get the first one hit. Second one does not, but eight damage. Now, this is the one next to Mandard. Wait, he just went. No, I remember. No, I, he fucked up. Yeah. So I, oh, I, that's, that's right. Good. Sorry, sorry, sorry. All right. right, I'll shut up. So your total is three plus eight. So you have eleven damage from the two attacks that hit. He got past. Uh... He hit your AC, and I did all the math for you. Total of eleven damage. So he got six and eleven. Hmm. You saying he hit he hit for eleven? Total, yes. It must have been six and eleven. I don't understand. Because if you're saying, Manager, will you have faith that I know how to do the math that you need and just it's eleven damage? And I'll explain to you later. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I promise you, I'm not screwing you out of hit points. Total eleven damage. If it didn't do the math right, it would have been a lot more. It's fine. It's 11 damage. Um, and then Musharif's turn. All right, he's going to... Well, actually, he can't reach anything because the boards are in the way. Yep. True. So he is going to pull out another of his infinite hand axes and hand axe it. Okay. And miss. See, that's why I give you infinite of them and he never hits with them. Kayleen. Yay, I get to shoot stuff. All right, she's going to move up here. And see this asshole and shoot him in the face. Okay. Oop. That's a hit. Yeah, that's 13. All right. He's a bloodied snake. And bonus action dodge in case it comes up. Okay. I don't. That'd be a pretty trick for these things to get through the barbarian and the. Yeah, bullets. I know. I know. I know. Just in case some shit happens and they try to hit me. 
This is a much easier encounter than I thought it was going to be for you guys. I should, have let you, I should have done level four. I shouldn't let you level up before you did it. Oh, well. Theron. Theron uses Fine Whip. Okay. That is a hit. Or minus eight. Mandred. Sorry, I'm having troubles with my mouse again. It's really starting to get in. That's 11. Come on. It took me all that time to get that fucking minus 11. Swinging twice on my long sword. 13 hit. 13 hits, yep. And 9 does not, I assume. 9 does not. So you do 8 damage. 8 damage. That's it. All right. And all the boars get to go. You know what? That thing doesn't have any hit points left. Would you like to describe the boars destroying the last, this Yanti? Because it has like five hit points left. The boar is just all yeah. dog pilot. <laughs> well, boar pilot. And gore to pieces. All right. And then once it dies, they're just going to kind of walk off. And start to take noises here. And start searching for troubles. I imagine uh, Manja takes like a very large, low step back as they start to devour this thing. Just kind of looks a bit disgusted as uh, they they go to work on this thing. Well, Aaron's not gonna let him eat it. He just wants him to dogpile it, then uh, yeah. walk off doing four things, like eating. Everything not, and they pass. Not, not, eating, not eating the snake people because I want to see what the snake people there are. All right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say Karen because this thing also has very low hit points left. So uh, between Karen and Rain, it's not going to survive. So guys, just explode this other this last one into bits unless you guys. Uh, Rain, I'll give you the killing blow if you like, as you're here. Um. Do you want to kill it? Uh, non-lethal damage. Non-lethal damage. All right. Let's see. You got to do eight damage. Okay. And you did. So. I also have a second swing. So, yeah. And I, I'm aware. That's why I was. And Karen had shots. So I was assuming somebody was going to be able to do eight damage. Um, so, good job. You guys cleared out. And you have a prisoner. A Yuan T prisoner. Um, you get 560 more XP for that encounter each. Sounds good. All right. So thank you guys all for playing. You are you have reached the lost city of Omu. Uh, you're approximately halfway through the campaign. Ooh. You said 560? Five more, 560 more. All right. So that's our total right there, guys. Yep. Uh... Note that not next week, but the week after, I have to work on Tuesday. I'll check my schedule. I don't think I have another night off that week, but if I do, we'll see if we can switch it. But currently, two weeks from now, probably not going to be playing. Okay. Just so you guys know. Um, that's Comic-Con week. So if we played any other day but Tuesday, I would not be able to play because I leave Wednesday to go to Comic-Con. Got it. All right. Yeah, I have a Wednesday game and stuff, so I don't know. We'll we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. If we have to skip a week, I just skip a week. Life happens sometimes. But oh yeah. Uh, otherwise, I'll see you guys all next week. Thank you all for playing. Have a good yeah. evening. Thanks, Thanks for running, bro. Easy. Goddamn gargoyles.